two. Hello, everybody. It's Monday, October second. Fall is here. When is when is the first day of fall? Did that happen, or is it first day of fall is September? Oh yeah, it's fall, you guys. Oh, oh wow. wow, it's so autumn right now. Who's getting that's the pumpkin spice? Who's into that? Everyone except Dan, I think. I'm not. I'm not into it, and not, not from like an ideological like. Oh, I just don't. I just don't find it to be the best flavor. I am very yeah. into that. Hmm. Okay. Very much so. How many pumpkin spice lattes have you had then so far? This <laughs> this season probably like twenty. Oh yes. shit, girl! You are the queen oh my God, pumpkin I need to spice. Catch up. I want Love that. And and Ian, how do you feel about her dependence on the pumpkin spice? I mean, it's a, it's a good drink. That's just a still photo. That's just a still picture of you, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> he looks good. Wow. Yeah. He looks handsome. Nice it's to nice see you today. You look good. You look really good. Yeah. Thank you. Today's episode is sponsored by Gamer Subs, who we love. It sure is. We love them, don't we, folks? They really are the best. All right. You know, also, I've seen people getting, um, people are angry that we didn't do enough tickets. I, 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 I thought it was a lot to our live show. It is a lot. Mm -hmm. 3,300 is a lot. Yeah. Also, That's like, lot, is there even bigger venues that we could have done with that short amount of time available to us? Well, we really want to do one at the Greek, which is about 6,000, but the Greek is not open during the winter time because it's an outdoor venue. Um, and we like the idea of the Dolby because, well, it's a little over double the size of the last venue that we did, which seemed like a sensible jump up. And um, also, it's where they do the Oscars. It's just like- It's so magical. <laughs> it, it's so cool. So magical. Well, if anybody that hasn't been there before, it is a fantastic theater. I heard they have parking there too, which is crazy. You Plenty guys. of parking. That's not like our last venue. That's we're, crazy. Actually, all the venues that we've done. We're gonna be standing parking. in the spot where Will Smith slapped Chris Rock. Absolutely. Yo, that's right. We oh, that's can, crazy. We can literally act it out. We're going to. Reenactment. We're going to. <laughs> I would love to play the part of Jada. <laughs> we should reenact. Is there any other Oscar moments that we can reenact? The Brando uh, not accepting the Academy Award. <laughs> That's Award. what I'm saying. Up, <laughs> sending up a Native American to uh, to scold everybody. Yeah. Okay. The, the moonlight moment when they announced the uh, announcing the wrong winner. Mm -hmm. There you oh, go. That was iconic. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then any steamy steamies ones we want to uh, herald, uh, except Fusi. Ooh. <laughs> That's not a drum roll. That's not a rip, rim shot. That was an iconic moment. Are there any other iconic? Uh, I don't think anyone moment? gives a fuck about it enough. Can't for there to be any Pussy's only iconic moment. Yeah. He fucking <laughs> I'm going to. Okay? <laughs> it's still funny. <laughs> After all this time, man, it's still funny. Uh, we got a fun show here. It's Monday, you know what I mean? We're going to start this day off with all kinds of fun light goofs. We're not doing anything but light fun goofs today, right? We've got some Hopefully. We've got, yeah, we've got all fun li light goofs. Except, I mean, this prankster was shot, but I th consider that a light this goof. This is definitely a goof. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This prankster got shot, and the jury acquitted the guy who <laughs> just shot him. Like, for pretty much... One of the goofiest shootings of all time. That guy definitely didn't need to be shoot him, and yet the jury <laughs> still let him go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because everyone's so fucking sick of these pranksters. Shoot the son of a bitch! The time between walking up to the guy and him shooting... The prankster was 20 seconds. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And the way he shot him was so chill. Yeah. <laughs> Cold blooded. At least he was chill about it. Yeah, yeah a little quick scope. <laughs> yeah, I mean, shit. I guess he, he got charged for dis, uh, using a firearm in a public space. Right. Not shooting a prank, YouTube prankster, yeah, no, which is actually a misdemeanor now. It's legal to kill YouTube pranksters. <laughs> Just be careful. 
All right, we're coming in hot. Here. Oh, yeah. We're coming in hot. Smash that button. Uh, I was just saying that um, it's illegal to kill pranksters now, based as a joke, based on this. And then I, right. got, I went too far with it, right? No. And that's why I did the button. That was a launching off point for more inappropriate jokes. Right. And I'll let you use your imagination. Run away with it. I goofed up. Today, uh, of course, the big news is that no top hat. Scoot towards me. Yeah. No tuxedo. But now I, I'm so okay. You guys are gonna have to tell me what to do. Oh, that's such a that's a beautiful photo. Wow, that looks so nice there. So right now there it's it like. I know it's healing, so it's gonna look like that when it's done healing. Cause right now it's like some of the white spots in his eyes turned black and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine always gets super dark, like the day after, day, two days after. That was right after we finished, and it's pulled up again? Oh. Yeah. Whoa, chill, dude. It's just, it's beautiful, it's per. it's just what I wanted, I mean, it's just, that's my beautiful boy, it looks, it's, that's just Shredder, you know? It looks just like him. And it's... It's not easy. The picture was really weird, because, like, he's looking over his body, and there's, like, a weird tuft of hair there. It's like... But he did it. Crazy talent. No shoulders, no bow tie. Not even a bow tie. Or tux, man. So, here, so here's what happened. I had it sealed. I got the tattoo Saturday night. It was like five or six hours, by the way. And we did not use lidocaine. <laughs> Actually, it didn't hurt that bad. It wasn't that bad. It really wasn't. In fact, the time went by really fast. Nice. You know? So I did it. That's the first question everyone asks is, did it hurt? Is that interesting? It didn't hurt. You know? Um, thank you. What a tough guy you are. Yeah, I just want to let that sit in. Did yeah. anybody want to not comment on that? Didn't You're hurt. You're super bright. Five or six hours. Really, really bright. Is, um, here, uh, is, is that considered a uh, painful spot, or is that supposed to be one of the easier spots That's to get? That's the easier spots. Everyone says it's easy, but they're wrong. <laughs> oh. The skin is sensitive, I can tell. Oh, okay. Mm. And, but, but it still didn't hurt because you're just such a tough guy. That being said, everybody says it's an easy spot. <laughs> but I beg, I di I beg, I to, beg differ. to differ. Okay. <laughs> it's one of the hardest hurt. spots there is. Mmm. That coffee gets me every time, man. Um, so afterwards, he put this plastic, this really cool plastic thing. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It wasn't saran wrap. It's like a, it's almost like a condom, the, fa the, the uh, texture. But they put it over it, he sticks it on, and then he pulls the top layer off, and it's like a perfectly see-through plastic that's really stuck to it. Did you bring condoms? I think it would work, honestly, if you didn't, if you just had that, I think it could work. Not recommended, though. Probably. And, um, so I had that on till this morning. When I showered, I took it off, I washed it. I mean, here, I'll show it to you guys standing up. The picture obviously looks a lot better, but... And right now, it's super greased up. It's greased. Yep. I'm, I love it, though. It's perfect. It really... It's beautiful. Just what I wanted. It's bigger than I thought I would get, too, which is kind of... I like the size of it. You know? So, um... I took it off this morning, I washed it, I put some light moisturizer on it. Then, when I'm in the car, the sun is on my tattoo, and everyone says, don't let the sun hit your tattoo, right? So, in my car, I have a moisturizer with sunscreen. So, I put that over it. And then I was like, wait, can I put sunscreen on it? Like, obviously, I can, right? But let me just make sure. So I says, can I put ta can I put sunscreen on my a fresh tattoo? No, that's the worst thing you can do. It's <laughs> oh, gonna shit. smudge the ink. It's gonna pull it out. It's gonna. And I was like, oh fuck. So I pulled over. 
I'm pouring water out of my like thermos and then wiping it down with my shirt. So I take all the sunscreen off, hopefully. Stop the sun. And then I get to the I get to work. And then um Olivia gave me a Lido the nipple the nipple stuff. Lanolin. Lanolin. That's what I always use for mine. And it's also what I use for super chap lips. It's amazing. It's for um breastfeeding mothers. It's what they put on their nipples, on their chap nipples. <laughs> right. It's safe for baby and and Breasts. um it's a safe for baby relief for mom. And I walk around with this I know shit. you swear by that. And I believe you. Yeah. Bitch. I mean, does your tattoo feel stunning and silky and fresh? Definitely feels... It looks... Yeah. Yeah. That's a glossy arm. It's glossy, exactly. Mm -hmm. And so, I don't know. Then I put I put that all over it. And then I Googled that. And they're like, don't put Lidl in on it. It will fuck up. The, it will tear the ink out. It will ruin your tattoo. But I don't know if those people are quacks. Because a lot of them seemed kind of quacky. And I don't, I don't fucking know, dude. Every, I guess there's just so many damn opinions on the internet about how to do it. But now I'm all paranoid. Did I ruin it? Um, I mean, hopefully not. I use it. I've used it, it on all of my. Um, in my opinion. So unless you used it super, super wrong, you should be good. I don't know how I can use it wrong. I just rubbed it in my skin. That's what I'm saying. Right. Uh, it says not safe for sheep. I guess if you have a, it's from sheep. Did you know that? It's from I did. sheep. From sheep wool, but they just shear sheep. They don't kill. And sheep. then they and then they milk it. I don't know about Tart? all that. What? They milk. They the... shear the sheep, then they milk the fur. How they milk the wool. <laughs> they milk the. Fur. Uh, yes, yes, that is mm -hmm. where the the moisture comes from. Their wool. Yes. They How milk the wool, milk dude. <laughs> People are just saying just water-based lotion, aqua four, bro. See, everybody's going. At, my tattoo artist said just moisturizer. This is only one ingredient, and it's lanolin. So people are, I, dude. There's no. Don't dry. Oh my, oh my god. god. People saying aqua four lanolin is an ingredient in aqua four. <laughs> okay, everyone's saying so aqua four. Everyone says, people say, dry, and then people are screaming, don't dry! Don't dry heel! <laughs> Olivia has found herself in hot, possibly soon-to-be <laughs> boiling water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, no, I don't blame you, girl. I don't blame you. So people good. are saying Aquaphor. Now, Aquaphor is mostly petroleum jelly, and I'll tell you this. If you look up, can I put petroleum jelly on my new tattoo, it's all like, no, don't put jelly on your tattoo, it'll fucking ruin it. Like, genuinely, what am I supposed to do? I'm literally milking sheep wool. Doesn't get more natural than that. No, for real. People are saying it's fine. Let's do a poll. But everyone has such passionate opinions about this. Mm. Here, from Google, can Aquaphor damage tattoos? The truth is, Aquaphor with the petroleum content could potentially harm your tattoo. Leading to issues like ghosting. With the my petroleum. Point, ghosting. <laughs> and mine is the what is in Aquaphor without the petroleum. And so no, Google but they say the same thing about the light. They say the same thing. This seems that. impossible to find yeah, a real it, answer on. At the end of the day, it's an open wound. That's the thing. It's like no matter what you put on it, it's, you know, anything can cause infection. Mm -hmm. anything. Well, as far as like open wounds and skin irritations from having kids, I, I feel like the... The, pajel the petroleum jelly products are like miracles for that stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you know? I, I always put Vaseline on mine, and then my artist, like, throughout the years, I came in one time, and he's like, yeah, don't do that anymore. Use Aquaphor. I was like, okay. <laughs> it's like, does anybody actually know? Is this I, one of those things that anyone no. really knows? Just yeah. keep it clean and keep it moisturized, and you should be good. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. That's keep, right. Yeah. Keep it classy. Yeah. Keep it classy. Nah, so, keep it slutty, keep it fun. I have a non-scented, um, you know, moisturizer that I put on it at home. But then I fucked up. So now I scrubbed it clean once already because I freaked out about the sunscreen. I fucked and now up! I've, and now I've got this, um, this wool milk mm -hmm. that's going to ghost my tattoo. I don't even know what that means. It doesn't sound good, though. What's ghosting mean? Yo, baiting, I imagine. Yo, is my ta tattoo Wait, ghosting? It's alive! 
What, bro? That's not gonna happen. This looks like when you get like a f removal. Like that's like a laser. Uh, take it off screen for a sec, just in case. I don't know if we have safe search on. I don't want it to show anything. Uh, I didn't show any. There was no. You, on you know, it. you didn't show anything. Yeah, I know. Uh, but I don't think that's how gonna happen. Looks like these people had the laser. So anyway, I don't know. I'm freaking out because I love it so much, and now I'm freaking out. I'm totally freaking <laughs> out. You'll be fine. I fucked up. But it's starting to scab, I guess, a little bit. But you know, it's pretty incredible that you can put ink in the skin and it just stays there. You would, I would think that like the because we're, you know, we're like biological. And the skin is like pretty good at removing shit from it. Like, mm -hmm. How does it stay there, you guys? That's crazy. It just stays there. Stay tuned. Yeah, but I, I honestly, I'm really happy. Lubriderm fragrance free. Small lines, tiny bull hit. What the fuck? <laughs> what did I just read? Small lines, tiny bull hit. You're fine. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can someone decode that? Small lines, tiny bull hit. You're fine. Put semen on it. <laughs> loads and loads of cum, people are saying. Okay. Right, yeah. Uh, semen is, is another kind of Oh, milk. we didn't do a poll, right. Dan. Where's the poll? Oh, sorry. What did uh, Theodore think of it? He like it? Is the poll... They liked it, yeah. They all liked it. Everyone liked it. How should I word the poll? Um, okay. Will linolin I don't know how to spell that slash Vaseline products. I'm gonna regroup them. Will that destroy my tattoo uh permanently and, and irrevocably? Will lanolin based products destroy my tattoo? You know what I mean? Yes or no. Everyone knows, just yes or no. And that includes like Aquaphor, Vaseline? Every, well, yeah. Vaseline, linolin is gonna fucking, I'm gonna have to carve it out with a knife because it's just, I'm gonna have to start over. <laughs> I'm scared. Wow, 30% say yes, you guys. That's a lot. 19. I just clicked yes. I clicked yes too because yeah. I'm scared. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> 80% says no. 20% says yes, though. Maybe that 20% like are the ones that know. One in five people. <laughs> Maybe they know something. <clears throat> Someone's saying I'm gonna need stem cells. Yo, my tattoo's ghosting. What the fuck? What Yo. is this? No. Yo, Yo my is, shit's ghosting, bro. That shit is scary. Olivia, I told you we should have put this on it. Oh my god, I am in hot water. That's scary. Mm. It looks like lupus. <laughs> but look at me, guys. I never thought in my life I would get a tattoo. Ever. But now I have one. Love it. And it's pretty big, too, right? Like, that's pretty big. Yeah, for the first one, too, especially. And it's it's very visible, too, actually, which I love. When I walk in the mirror, it's like the orientation's perfect, and he looks so good, and it just makes me so... It makes me happy to see him. Like, every time I look in the mirror, it's really cool. <sighs> okay. It's um, a 12 inch. Should I talk about like all the other crazy shit that people are trying to ruin it for me? No. Nope. Just no. Don't even talk nope. about it. Nope. Should I talk about it? Nope. Nope. Everybody says nope. Nope. Should I talk about it? Nope. Nope. Thinking about talking about it? Yep. yep. <laughs> but should I? Nope. nope. But thinking about it? Yep. 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 <laughs> um, here's a like a, here's a perfect image we got of it right afterwards. The artist had like this uh glare free setup. So good. I love him. It's so good. It's it's just it's perfect. My mom goes, Why did he put the circle? Okay. He shouldn't have put the circle. <laughs> I was like, what? Wouldn't make any sense without the circle. Turns into a circle. 
I'm thinking about old ladies and tattoos. They just don't fuck with it. <laughs> she liked the top hat. My mom liked the top <laughs> hat more than the circle. Yeah. Right. Should have kept it. And then I saw um, another friend of mine today who's a, an older lady, and she goes, it's so nice, but you should have put it here so that it's not, <laughs> so it's not visible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're, it's, per, it's particularly older Jewish uh, women. At least that I they don't know. fuck with tattoos. No, man. I mean my grandmother's told me I'm out of the will, and my parents have told me I'm out of the will. What? If I get because it. of a tattoo? Yeah, they're, and they're serious. There's well, because the the rumor is you can't be buried in a Jewish cemetery. I don't think it's a rumor. Fact. Although I think they they lightened up on that. That used to be true, but I don't think it's true anymore. But yeah, my parents are pretty. Uh, pretty At ChatGPT. Uh, yeah, I think that that's a. Uh, I think that that's an urban legend. I think it used thing. to be true. I think it did. Well, there's that old Curb episode. His mom going to be buried in the Jewish cemetery. <laughs> I mean, I heard that all growing up. What about, I, what about? I seem to recall somebody pointing out to me that that's not really Well, here's a, thing. a good question. Then what about Holocaust survivors? We're not burying them? Yeah, see, it, 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 that would be That's a little crazy. fucked up, don't you um, think? <laughs> and that's part of why I think it's not true. Uh, can you get buried in a Jewish cemetery with a tattoo? 25% it went up are saying that my tattoo is going to be ruined, you guys. While the Jewish community might still be divided over tattoos, the prohibition against burying tattooed person in a Jewish cemetery is a myth. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm going to go get one tonight. Hell yeah, dude. Get one a Shredder. Maybe there are like certain communities that don't like it and so forbid but is that, it is but... it against the uh, Jewish faith to, to tattoo? I thought there was like a rule about it, about like desecrating your... Body or some shit. Maybe it has to do with the Holocaust survivors. I think it goes before that. Yo, can you imagine the like? Listen, bro. I know you've been through some <laughs> shit, but you're tattooed. Um, yeah, it's generally considered against uh, Jewish law. Mentioned in the Torah, you shall not make any cuts on your body for the dead or tattoo yourselves. I am the Lord. Bitch had to end it with "I am the Lord." Chill. Why are you so insecure? Insane. I am the Lord. Yeah. No sure. tattoos. I am the Lord. Sure. Yeah, I gotta start when I give when I tell people to do that. I'm gonna end like, I am the Lord. God damn. Uh, Lena, can you get me a coffee? I am the Lord. You got it, Lord. Thank you. I already I already have one. Thank you. Oh, somebody uh, in the chat pointed out if you get a swastika tattoo, they might have an issue with that. Oh, okay. that is oh, a come very. On. That's a listen. Very good one. It's all or nothing, Dan. It's one or not. <laughs> tough crowd. Tough crowd. Arabs are the same way, they don't like tattoos. We were at a barbecue once, and Lena's mom just looked over at me, and she goes, you know there's a place down the street that opened up tattoo <laughs> removal? Like, no one was talking about it, and I've had the tattoos forever. I was like, oh, thank you. It's good to know. Um, you're such a bad boy, though. Do you like bad boys, Lena? Because he is kind of a bad boy. <laughs> he's got the Mustang, he's got the tats. I mean, it's not what I was going for, but it's, yeah, he's cool. <laughs> you bad boy. Oh, That's you. cool. That's nice. She thinks you're cool. You bad boy. Thank you. I think you're sweet. cool too. Thank you. Oh no, I just mean like that wasn't my. I don't have a specific type. It's you not like right. I was looking for that. You weren't right. looking for the bad boy greaser. Bad yeah. boy came to you. Just happened to find one. He just cruised up in that Mustang <laughs> and said, "Hey, <laughs> get in, get in, loser. <laughs> We're going to the tattoo shop. We're going to get a boosted board." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, bu 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 okay. Oh, are you guys sure I shouldn't talk about it? Nope. Hmm. Oh wait. Yep. Hold on. Not sure. Yep. No, about. Oh, did we not see this? Did I not show this on Friday? Yeah, Producaton's got my mom, man, again. So I saw my mom this weekend, mm -hmm. and she's like, "Okay, here's my phone. Please." Block Producatons and follow you. These and I was like, I think nuts. you already did. We checked. So I get on her phone. So she's not following me. And she's following Producatons. And so I helped her. I blocked Producatons. Apologies. You know, it's not personal. It's just for my mother's well being. And now she does follow me, the real H3H3 Productions. <laughs> he actually did uh, do something. He posted. I'm trying to find it on Reddit where he said, uh, this is my mom now or something. Yeah, because she followed him. Yeah. And that confused the hell out of me because I just, I didn't understand what was going on. Producacons, get your, get your mom called like Donna, Donaton or something. 
Get a Bizarro mom. The other weird thing is like, I swear that the, I can see the plastic marks. I'm assuming those will go away. Yeah. Yeah. So there it is, guys. I'm a cool dude. I did it for five, six cool hours. Dude, didn't even hurt. Didn't Bad hurt. Ass. I sat Robert. there. The time went by so fast, bro. And straight up, I was like, I, I'm ready for more, bro. I was I'm like, ready this to go is longer. Easy. Let's go longer, dude. And it's one of the hardest spots, too. I don't know if I mentioned that. Yeah. So sensitive. I don't think you did. Touch your skin there. Tell me how soft and sensitive is it. Oh, wow. It hurts just now. Yeah, careful. Don't Ow. touch too hard. <sighs> Seeing yours makes me want to touch up mine because <laughs> I miss when mine were that dark. Mine definitely lightened up over the years. So can you get it, like, touched up? What's the deal? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I have a um, temporary Lego tat. That's what you need, dude. Yo. Yes, Sheesh. dude. There's some new, uh, there's some cool new Legos coming out, right? Um, some cool new blocks? Yeah, there's Brick new, up? Yeah. Have you heard about any? There's like a new movie franchise coming to the, from Bricktown. Oh, is there? That's pretty cool. You, you don't know. You, you don't, don't know, know about, about this? this? I, that's, the uh, new stuff is not really, like, my world. I like the, the, like the Star Wars and the, the, the Oh, Empire. I thought your pulse was on, your, Wait, your finger was I, on the pulse of like Lego. Like the Ninjago shit? Like, that's really not my... Oh, Teddy loves Ninjago. Yeah. What's Ninjago? What the fuck you guys do? It's, uh, it's a it's a Lego ninja show for kids. It's, it's sick. not for it's kids. Sick. It's for the general public. You're right, you're right, yeah. you're right, you're right. <laughs> it's pretty cool. But the, the Ninjago is fire, Zach. You should try one. It's dragons, I'll give sword. it a shot. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. It. Yeah, you don't you know, don't hate. I thought you followed all the latest drops. I'm always hearing. I don't know what Ethan is talking drops. about, to be completely honest. Yeah, I thought uh, hold on, let me see. New Lego, uh, coming soon. That's all I'm gonna type. Yo, there's a Mario one coming soon. The plant. That looks, that's actually cool. Yeah. Have you got that one? It was not out yet. I think it comes out in November. You gonna get that one? Probably. That's sick. Yo, that one's 18 plus. That one's gonna be crazy to do. <laughs> 18 plus? I'll, yeah. I'll whip that out wait, in wait, an wait. hour. <laughs> what does the plant do? It's just it's just super hard to put together, bro. It's like oh, oh oh okay. Practically need a degree. Fire. Lego sponsor us, man. Dude, that's a dream. Please. Oh, what's maybe? Oh, it's Marvel stuff. Was this what I was thinking of? Jay's brick. Jay's brick block. This guy is goaded. <laughs> oh, you know him. about Jay? Of course. Me and Ian always uh, talk about him. Uh huh. Yo, maybe we could connect you. Here he is. Jay, if you're out there, connect with my bro, man. Yeah. He's, he's a Follow Le for follow. He's a Lego head. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, this guy's in deep, huh? That's fire. Sick. Damn, he has all of them? He's got every That's color. Crazy. I had those. But you have all? Well, those are rare. And when I was a kid, I had one of those little spacemen. I didn't have the whole color set. But. All right, so moving on, but... Producatons is now sending me threats. Oh boy. He says, this is a DM. Who'd he send this to? I mean, I've been in contact with him. Just a fellow. He said this to you, love? Yeah. yeah he yeah. said, I will not stop until the Klein family believes I am one of their own. Till Theodore and Brucey call me their father. Till the crew believes I am their leader. Till the audience calls me the one and only host of the H3 podcast. One day, Ethan will get on his hands and knees and beg for his show back. <laughs> and there, Producatons will stand. Satire is a lesson. Parody is a game. <laughs> I am the Lord. Wow. Okay, there's an interesting theory that Producatons is coming from inside the house. Mm. So, does anyone... I wouldn't know anything about that. That'd be a high-level game to play if one of y'all was Producatons. That'd be crazy. That's pretty crazy. That'd be... I have no way of proving Pretty wild. I've, had, I've been in contact with him since like 2020. Oh, have you? Okay. Yeah. That'd be a long bomb. Yeah. That's pretty sus, love. Well, I... I <laughs> when you are I got a social media guy. Well, yeah. I, I've been in contact with like almost all the uh, uh, parody accounts and stuff like that because... You're that's the king of that shit. Yeah. yeah. Where I came from. They have my a, brother. They have a Facebook group together. You're the one that yeah. made it. Yeah. Look, I'm just saying, I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm just, I wouldn't put it past you. Right. Of course. But why is he so, why is he so serious about this? He goes... Right. Satire is a lesson, parody is a game? <laughs> yeah. Like what? I mean, Producatons, what's happening, man? He's, He's crazy, to... bro. I mean, he Who always, is he? He always sends me screenshots of when people uh, follow him. 
It's like, oh, I'm gonna troll them so hard, dude. Uh, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> like man. when Steve-O followed him, they like <laughs> messed with him. Or I, I, I literally can't do anything about it. I don't know how to help people. I want to play the game. If you're over the age of like 45, you're fucked. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> you're just gonna get producatoned. See a lot of speculation that it's Ian. That's the only. I was suspecting it might be Ian, but. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that shit in and grin. One more time, Ian. That's, ah, uh, it's Ian for sure, man. Can't help it. You can't help it. Ian himself. did that. Ian is funny enough to do this, but I think he might be too lazy to do it. <laughs> and I don't mean that as an insult. Like, I'm lazy when I'm not working, Ian. I'm very lazy, right? I think Ian you're a good worker, so that's really not what I mean by that. Up right now. Is that an accurate characterization, do you think? Uh, <laughs> you don't even, oh, you could, you're not even going to talk now? Ian, uh, please stand up. At least play me a sound bite. Ian, please stand up. Jesus, he's just... Not wearing pants. God damn, <laughs> I can't even, you, want, you don't want to even talk anymore, okay. I like legs and uh, ass. <laughs> oh, brother. That's all you have to say? All right. <laughs> anyway. Thank you to the artist. I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy with it. It's super cool. I'm a tattoo guy now, guys. I would do another one, honestly, because it, it just wasn't that bad. But... Oh, nice. This I, is how it starts, dude. Yeah, this it's so addicting. It I don't know, though, because I feel like I only would want to do it if it was something... I'm not really into, like, the art aspect of it, more so just, like, the sentimental value of it. I don't know. Like, I respect that y'all like putting art on your bodies. That's cool. I'm not sure if that's my thing, though. Yeah, Majority of mine are sentimental as well. I really? Mean, yeah. Can you explain them to me? Mm, I feel like I don't like explaining. I feel like it's cheesy, but like, I will explain one of them. This one is a plane that's the plane my uncle piloted World War II. So that was when my uncle passed away. I got that one. Oh. Wait, yeah. which yeah, side? Awesome. Wait, hold on. Which side did he fight for? Uh, for us. Okay, good. <laughs> what kind of plane is it? Uh, I forget. I had it written down. Has he been living in Canada for the past seventy years? Mm, he's dead. Oh. Yo, your gramps is a <laughs> is a World War II uh, fighter to. pilot. My uh, my uncle is. Actually, oh, your uncle. My my uh, notorious cousin Tim, his father. Yeah. Oh wow, wow. he's a That's fucking. That's super cool. He's a vet, man. Mm -hmm. My grandpa uh, the, was uh, also in the Air Force. He wasn't a fighter pilot though. He was on one of the bombers. My grandpa too. Uh, I mean, he's passed now, but he was in like. He used to man the gun on the bottom of the ship, you know, because you had to like manually sure. aim it. Damn, that's yeah. like the most dangerous, right? Uh, the he, ball turret. If, is that what you're talking about? The ball turret yeah, thing? Yeah, he almost yeah, died is, many times. That is the, the highest death rate of any of the positions. And he had to parachute out a few times. Whoa, Absolutely that's crazy. nuts. Yeah, my, uh, my grandpa was a bombardier. He was the one actually dropping the bombs. Those guys are heroes, man. Can you imagine? That stuff's so scary. That's like real. Yep. The Nazis were real bad guys, you know? They were the real bad guys. Yeah. Stop dissing the Nazis all the time. <laughs> bro, stop, bro. Jordan, I don't get you. Stop. Um, it is uh, 33 minutes, by the way, if we want to do our What is this? Ad? We got more Producaton threats? Uh-oh. Maybe double. You know what? Oh. <laughs> well, whatever. Too late. I'm starting it's to feel like the real Ethan Klein, he said. <laughs> With no <laughs> competition in my way, I can feel the power of the FUPA flowing through me. Perhaps I am the real Ethan Klein. <laughs> You're not, man. You're not. Just stop. You're freaking me out, dude. Your message to him. <laughs> yeah, you can see. You gotta right chill now. with the bombs. <laughs> this was when you were banned. That he was like blowing up. Or <laughs> was he doing bomb threats and yeah. shit, bro? Yeah. And he always takes it too far. Yeah, you know what I mean? Always. I had like to tell him to chill. He always takes it to the to the worst spot. It was going really hard with like straight up like threatening people. <laughs> it's not me, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, I was like, bro, you're gonna get us in trouble or something. <laughs> I I got I for Tuckadon, you gotta chill, brother. <laughs> God damn. Um all right, so let's thank our Yeah, this is dude, get out of my fucking life, man. Look at this. For Duckatons. <laughs> Act like you own the place. One of the best films of the decade. Yo, get out. Anyway. Movie reference. Thank you. <laughs> uh, shout out Gamer Subs, man. I love Gamer Subs. Now the reviews are in. 
everybody is raving, raving about Sigma Brain. It actually looks like that in real life. It's transparent. Yeah, it's so sick. Here, kill the green screen. And so here's what I'm reading. People say, no, I don't like spicy. And I didn't expect to like it. But I got it to support the show, they say. And then they says, it's not spicy. It's amazing. It's just a little tickle. It's not spicy. It's just a little bit of a competitive edge. You know what I mean? It's just a little tickle. The flavor is incredible. It supports your mind during All gaming. Mm -hmm. You're going to be the ultimate gamer. Correct. And also you're going to do everything else really good. It's Correct. hydrating. It's fortified with vitamins and minerals. It's got caffeine in it to keep you alert. You can get non-caffeine too. And it's the best fucking flavor, dude. Let's look at reviews. The reviews are pouring in, you guys. They're in. And these are all legitimate, right? I mean, this is this is just... I don't think you can review it. It's, it's verified purchases only. Yep. Look at that. Is that a perfect five? That's a perfect five. Ooh. Not even like a sliver missing, huh? It might even be more than five, and they don't have the ability to display that, just like on uh, WikiFeet when you have like a seven out of five. Yeah. Experience the bold fusion of H3 Sigma Brain, a balance between zesty lime and a gradual controlled heat. This unique elixir awakens your senses and sharpens your mind, offering a refreshing yet daring twist. Elevate your taste journey with H3 Sigma Brain and embrace a new realm of flavor and focus. That's good copy. Damn. Yeah, I agree. Shout out whoever wrote that. Um, cheers, my dudes. Mm. Cheers, my dude. It really is the best flavor. Do you guys love it? I do. Yeah, definitely. But with more enthusiasm. I do. No, it, it is genuinely a very love it is love flavor. Love the best. You guys see what I'm saying, man? <laughs> But like you used to be doing mango, Dan. That's out the window, right? You dumped. Uh, I wasn't a mango. I was a. Uh, I was a uh, the blue ras boy. But blue ras is I'm out. Converted. And stop, love stop, what stop, you were stop, doing. I was the mango boy. And you're out. Yeah, I'm out on the yeah. mango. Fully with uh, sigma. It's all sigma. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud, actually, of, of how good it came out. Uh, 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 it's so good. I still love the art so much, too. It's the official drink that, of like, like H3 Nate. Really matters. Taste is obviously a little bit more important than the label. You know, but it's cool. We also, we, we all came together to formulate this flavor. Uh, it's true. We really did tinker with the, with the flavor. We tinkered. There. And, and we were in the we, laboratory until it was perfect. Group. And we didn't come out until it was ya. perfect. Yeah. Um. Cheers, my dude. Awesome. Yeah, it doesn't use sugar at all, by the way. So if you're on, like, if you're trying to get off sodas or sweet drinks, or if you don't drink sugar, which I don't recommend. I don't ever drink sugar. To me, that's just, like, the biggest waste of calories yeah because it's like what you're gonna drink a sugar drink and then that's 200 calories doesn't fill you at all so it doesn't use sugar and Joke. it tastes amazing you know let's see yada 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 use code h3 for 10 percent off your order right go to gamersubs.gg and use the code h3 for 10 percent off your order do you know what i'm saying cheers my dude Right? That's right. gamersups.gg. Use the code H3 for 10% off your order and join the Sigma Brain Nation and step up that brain yep. to a Sigma level. Thank you. Join brains. What is this? Hold on. They want it. Um. Dead air. Okay. Thank you. Yo, look at that. Five stars, though. Okay, we already we moved on. Thank you. Uh, what else we got? Um. Oh, Alex Jones got choked out. Can I show this? It didn't get a. Uh... I mean, he's fine. He just got choked out. It's very odd. It's a very odd it's video. It's a very strange video. Also, I ha isolated some noises from it after we play the video if you want me to So play that's that. worth it. Yeah. But it, it, you know, it's very odd. This is what, this is what these alpha dudes are doing. They're just choke. They're taking alpha brain. They're choking each other out. It's like, 
I mean, what what kind of idea of fun is this? El Segundo podcast, wherever that is. Here. On band.video. Yeah. My favorite oh, website. Come do it. Wide shot. <laughs> and this guy goes Here way go. too hard on him. I just gotta, I'm gonna lights out. Take a little sooner. <laughs> when I put this up though, we're not fools. <laughs> Hold your arm up. He says stop, <laughs> and now he's dead. He killed him. <laughs> Why would you do that? That's not that's not a fun thing to do. <laughs> he's like a monster. <laughs> oh my god, he's an animal. He's an actual demon. He's an ogre. Oh, Who wakes up like Christ. that? He's like an actual ogre. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> That's not real. <laughs> Fucking rain chorus. <laughs> and Alex Jones strikes me as a dude who who has to sleep with like a a CPAP, CPAP machine with like a mask and a defibrillator next <laughs> to him. Sure. Bro, you know if you wake him up, he's he yells as he wakes. He's like, what? Are you <laughs> 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 so I guess my my point is is that I don't think this is the smartest idea. Yeah, don't do this at home. We disavow. Oh, throw we disavow. throw it up, Ian. Throw it up. We disavow. We disavow this. Not shit. advisable. I'm anti choking out your friends for fun. For the record. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what I just do? What I just do? <laughs> what I just do? He you lost his memory? Back oh, did I actually pass out? <laughs> huh? Yeah. Huh? I did pass out. Yeah. I'm talking so <laughs> See, I don't. I'm not looking to do that. It's also not that funny either. It's kind of weird. Like, what's wrong with these guys, man? How do these guys? How do we propose these guys get it out? Do they go? Do we just give them some spears and send them to the jungle to just like kill raw beef? Mm, it looks like Alex needs an exorcism. I don't know. That's true. I just don't know what to do with all these these alpha bros, man. Well, they're choking themselves out, so maybe we don't have to worry about it much <laughs> That's longer. The problem take care of yeah, itself. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So shout out Alex Jones. He's a real man. He's a real. I bet he wouldn't do a tattoo in the most sensitive spot for five or six hours. He couldn't handle it. Hell no. Not many could, frankly. Not many could. Are you guys proud of me, though, at least? I was pretty scared to get it. No, yeah. I am. Definitely. I was super nervous when we first started. I was so curious to see, yeah, how you would do. But you listed right away. You handled it, no problem. It just, it would hurt a lot less than I expected. I expected to really fucking hurt, man. I've... I mainly went to one guy. I've only got one of my t tattoos from someone else, and I did notice that the second guy was like so much more painful. Oh, because sometimes artists will like zzz, stop, zzz, stop. They take a little break in between, oh. which is what I think is proper. But the other guy I went to, who was actually the owner of the shop, did not stop the whole time. This just, guy didn't stop, only to get more ink. It was just continuous. Yeah, yeah, it's just continuous. One tiny little needle. Mm-hmm. But he was saying sometimes if you if you're doing a bolder color or going deeper to get like a more bold color, then it hurts more. Yeah, the one I got with the other guy was a lot of shading too. So, but then like when he got up here near the crease, then it started to hurt a lot more. My yeah. crease, oh my god! Especially like when your adrenaline starts to run out. I don't know if you experienced that where it felt more painful towards the end. Really? Yeah, but like at the crease right there, that fucking killed. Yeah, the crease is that 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 was painful. The crease sure. feels like you're getting electrocuted. What's the deal with the crease? It's like super thin skin, I guess, or nerves. I don't know. Yeah. Come on, crease. And my uh, the elbow too. I remember the elbow was super painful. Oh, like on the point of your elbow. Yeah, just did that whole I can't like imagine around that. here and here was like it felt like it, someone was sawing my arm off. <sighs> Wow, that didn't sound good at all. Yeah, no, I can't. That just that would be right on your bone. That's crazy. Um, he told me the most painful spot, in his opinion, in his experience, was behind the knee, the soft part. Oh, 
You know what I mean? There. Mm, yeah. The crease of the leg. Yeah, the crease of the leg, he said, was crazy. Devastating place, I bet. Yeah. Finger. But he was also telling me he just did a tap for somebody on their fucking eyelids. I was like, whoa. That's crazy. Uh, but I've seen t eyelid tests, but it just seems like really intense. Mm -hmm. It's right on your fucking eyeball. Okay, Ethan. How does it not go in your eyeball? Because it's like, your eyelids are very thin. As everybody knows, as we all have eyelids. Okay, Ethan. People have tattooed their eyes before. Right, that will be right. Yeah. And that's just fucking nuts. Yeah. Are you awake for that? I don't know. There's no way. How could you keep your eye open as someone jams a, a needle into it? Think about that. That's badass, though. I, I heard the eye tattoo is second most painful to this spot right here. Mm. For sure. Okay. <laughs> uh, James, Charles, go to the chiropractor. Great. It's a combination of my two favorite things. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh. Let's see what happens. Well, if there is one person I would send to the chiropractor, it'd be James. I'd be like, hey, put some extra attention on his neck, if you know what I mean. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> <coughs> what? Just adjust his neck. I got it. Do one of those ones where it's like, hey, listen, I want you to put a little extra attention on his neck. Sometimes accidents happen at the chiropractor. Oh. Sometimes uh, you adjust it a little too far. Uh, oh, oh. Let's see. Today, I'm gonna get cracked. This is my first time ever. In Today, a I'm gonna get cracked. I just took my x rays. Apparently, my body is not in the best of shape, and we're gonna fix that. Usually, nothing on my body What does that mean? And we're gonna fix that. Watch, I'm gonna prove to you guys right now what a quack this guy is, okay? Watch this. I hope so. Like, I've never been. The first thing I'll say about chiropractors, they all want to be like, not all, but a lot of them are like TikTokers. Like they, they want to be like celebrities. And a real doctor who's concerned with your health and, and treatment is not, they're not trying to be like on camera talents. It's just weird. Because it's serious. It's serious work, medicine. This is not a serious guy. Be able to crack my neck. <gasps> like, like here, here's another thing. If you're a serious doctor, you don't make this face. Look at his face. You don't make that face when you're treating someone. You don't look surprised and a little scared. Okay? You know what to expect because it's science. Now look at that face. No. Oops. That's not a real medical treatment. That's just a dude who's turning your head and hoping for the best. Look at his face. This one's going to go a little bit. Like, like, I'm sorry. That's bullshit. Whoa, dude. Did you hear that crack? The doctor's like that. That was a big crack, you guys. That's not real medicine. Hell no. Oh my god! <laughs> that's like fucking Look at him. <laughs> Oops. He sounds so Whoa, much like crazy. Mickey Mouse, it's crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! Oh. Literally. <laughs> Whoa. That was good. Who that did that? Really that, was, that was me. me? <laughs> oh, it's... Oh. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> what are we talking about? I are, thought, are I you trying to, to be Daffy Duck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> That's crazy. <laughs> That's so bad. Nah. <laughs> you do better. <laughs> Go it. ahead, I'm waiting. Did it. Do it again. <laughs> I think I win. Pretty good. I don't know. Whatever, I put my heart into it. You're right, you're right. James wins though as Mickey. He takes the he takes the cake. Yeah. Yo, my favorite doctor is the one that looks children. surprised and slightly worried when they treat me. That's my favorite, no. man. <laughs> okay, let's do more. He just laughs because it's so absurd. What Look at him. Fuck? He can't even see his face. He's just like, yo, dude, that one was crazy. <laughs> Look at him. He's doing a soy face over his back. Yo, that was crazy, you guys. Did you hear that? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> you said you weren't going to crack. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Wow, sister snapped. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God
my god! It does oh, sound like it exploded. Oh, that was better. That was better. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to unhear that now. Oh, oh. 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 I can't get over what boy. <laughs> Wait, do it again. I'm going to hear. <laughs> That's, That's good. good. Thank you. My dad used to do it when oh. I was growing up. You were kind of getting it there. Oh, girls. Take that girls. back. Whoa. That's like demon duck. I don't know. Who that is. <laughs> Dude, I want to go to a chiropractor and have them crack my back and then just pretend to die. Oh. <laughs> 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 He'd probably be like another one. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. Probably gorilla feeder. He has a button that just the floor <laughs> yeah, just rolls you into the floor. Sweeney Todd style. Uh huh. And to the incinerator. I would love to see the reaction. Imagine having That's that on so camera. Funny. That'd be fun as fuck. Shit. Shit. She. Shit. This go profession, dude. I'm sorry. This profession is a fucking joke. I'm pretty sure that I could take a few online courses, practice with some friends, and then do what they do. I'm so, do you just crack? They they do all the same cracks too. They go crack the hip, crack the neck, crack the fingers. I can crack fingers. You just pull it. What's the you fucking magic? It's a joke. The only difference is they're more confident because usually when you do that, you're like, I don't want to hurt you, and they're like, I don't care if I hurt you. There's a I was I saw one pop up on YouTube. It's called the Ring Dinger, where they like put your your hips in like a <laughs> contraption and they put a, a towel around your neck and then they just pull your head. And it's supposed to crack Ooh. your spine. Let's let's pull it. And I'll be I want to see the ring. Looks like it feels so good. Wait, I, found, I found the ring. I found the ring dinger compilation, but this looks like something else. Maybe I want to say know. thank you to La Lavru for the twenty gifted. Thank you so much. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. Is this oh wait, are we doing about? the the? Are we doing the the members drive this week, Ian? What's our plan? With Friday. I'm Friday. Oh, we should talk about it. So this Friday, we're gonna do the members drive. Which apparently is just going to be me getting drunk and trying to explain things. Which everybody had a lot of fun with last time. Mm. Um, and other things. We haven't put much thought into it yet. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I'm sure of it. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? I feel good. <laughs> nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> yeah, sorry, not serious. Sorry, not beautiful. I watch Cairo compilations. I know I've never said that, but I watch Cairo compilations. <laughs> well, I I always sorry. watch them. I'm fascinated by it. It looks like it feels so good. No. I crack my neck all the time, though. So, are you a chiropractor? You believe in that? Mm, I don't think I believe in it. I just know that when I crack my neck, I like it. <laughs> there, you don't have to pay someone to do it. And the yeah. likelihood that you'll sever your head is very low. Mm -hmm. Look at this guy. He's like, I'm going to try to dislodge <laughs> your spine from your body. <laughs> no! Fuck! <laughs> Ah, ah. When is a, a, a towel, a towel wrapped around someone's neck is a medical tool. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but Bro, like anybody can do time. that. It's just a matter of like being confident and sadistic enough to pull that hard. All he's doing is pulling his fucking head away from his body. That's very strong. <laughs> Look at- oh, What's he doing? That's so shit. secret. Oh. <laughs> oh, she, oh my god. She wasn't ready for it. <laughs> she like broke her jaw. Yeah, this lady's- This is the ring dinger, huh? <laughs> Give her the old ring dinger. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't know He's confused. He, he didn't get yeah. lost. It didn't work. He's got amnesia oh. from that shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> They're hitting that Mitch McConnell ring. Shit. Looks like it feels oh, really good. He was very theatrical. Oh Whoa, my. that one sounded good. Oh. Go. Then, then he has to like uh, check their reflexes to make sure they can feel their legs after. 
he for sure does like a knee snap yeah, test. Yeah, 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 exactly. He's like, shit. He goes, I'll be right back. The knees aren't working. The <laughs> knees aren't kicking. What do I do? <laughs> Keep it cracking. finally happened. <laughs> <laughs> the Dark Souls font did it really? Oh yeah, you died. <laughs> it did. It did no shot. Yeah. Let me see. <laughs> oh, it's good with the uh, bell. Oh, well, that was it. Play That's some creepy end. music, uh, uh, Zach. <laughs> what you're seeing here is the work of a serial killer. Right. Sure. Maybe the most prolific serial killer of our time. Oh. And you know what's scary? The good ones, we only catch the bad ones. Because if they're smart and they're good, they never get caught. And the ring dinger here, he knows what I'm saying. Jeffrey Dahmer's. It doesn't matter if they die now or in 10 years from now. He knows it was this. Yeah. These are his victims. They paid him to do oh this. <gasps> what? <laughs> uh. I used to watch murder porn. <laughs> uh, this one is fucking awesome, man. Look at this shit. I I guess th I'm assuming this is like a R Ron Burgundy situation where she got teleprompted. But man, it's so funny. It's like so out of pocket. Here. Suicide is always there as an option, but it's never the right solution to the problem. And if you hit your breaking point, instead of just taking your life, do something one step short of it. Quit your job and move to China to become uh, a rice. Or don't quit your job. There are resources available. What um, the? Talk she to says if she, she. What was she going for? Okay, so what she was saying or reading. Was like, if you are suicidal, just stop one blip short of killing yourself, quit your job, and move to China and become a rice picker. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I caught, D -D too, but... Mega I think uh, she realized she was being trolled and then tried to get back on the rails. That's the only explanation I have. Suicide is always there as an option, but it's never the right solution to the problem. She says, it's always there as yeah. an option. Never That's forget, it's always an option. <laughs> Dude, yeah. What is she reading? What, what demon happening? put this together? Don't forget, there suicide <laughs> is always an option. She <laughs> said that. There's someone on the CCP working in the back rooms. They're trying to like recruit. Oh recruit yeah, people. we need my rice pickers. <laughs> yeah, come to, come to shine. We need cheap labor. <laughs> yeah, we. Need, we need There's work. one thing we don't have enough of. It's people in China. Right. Right. Well, you know things are. You know, listen. <laughs> Inflation hits China too, man. I'm just, I, I am so baffled by this clip. Like, what? Oof. It's like somebody put together the most fucked up thing you can say during suicide prevention month and got her to say it. Always there as. It's an always option, there as an option. Suicide is Mega always dude. there as an option, but it's never the right solution to the problem. And if you hit your breaking point, instead of just taking your life, do something one step short of it. Quit your job and move to China. <laughs> To become uh, a rice, or don't quit your job. There are resources available. Um, talk to your loved one. And, uh, <laughs> Dude, that is crazy. Oh, that's crazy. I guess someone was quitting or something. That's pretty demonic, though. Yeah, she got Ron Burke, indeed. Yeah, it does. Okay, I, f I found something about it. I am not suicidal. Kentucky news anchor said she was floored and confused when during a recent broadcast her teleprompter script included jokes about suicide that she unwittingly read on air in a thread on X formerly Twitter. Here, here's the thread. Okay. This is oh, she, had a, she issued a statement. Yeah. She said, uh, Hi, this post may be long. Oh, God. Get let's on see, with let's it. see, let's see. <laughs> well, let's dip our toes. Okay. Uh, hi, this post may be long, but uh, to me, it's important, so I hope you can take the time to read something horrible happened on our newscast, Wave 3 News, at 3 p.m. on September 22nd, when I was anchoring first. I want to personally apologize for those who were hurt, disturbed, dot, dot. Where's the thread? She erased it. It was just... What? She probably posted Oops. another tweet, like a boomer. Oh, my God. She, she doesn't is. know how to put a thread together? I get it. it she misspoke. Okay. I thought I misspoke, yeah. or someone missed the words, or there's a typo in the first sentence. I was so confused, my brain was stuck. 
Okay, yeah, so she got trolled. There yeah, she go. got trolled, definitely. I want to know who's that person. Sorry, Dan. Ethan, I've been really enjoying the socialism, capitalism, <laughs> democracy conversations. Hey, there's one. To y'all <laughs> that think you can't have civil disagreements, touch grass, okay? I agree. I mean, I agree with I that. think we ran yeah. it into the ground for now, though. I could talk about it more, but I don't think the world is ready. Yeah, not ready for this, we, we for need, this high level uh, We need discussion. to recharge. I'll come back stronger, though. More ready, more prepared, smarter, <laughs> faster, Yo. more capitalist than ever. We'll Wait a minute, we just got a crazy update. One of the mods just sent me, this was a super chat that we missed. 20 euros. Don't know if you remember me, but I called in the third After Dark episode to tell about my broken wiener. I'm flying from Libsyn to LA to see you guys. Do you remember that? I, I hope, remember that. I hope he I means for the live show. That. Yeah, for the live show. No, he's just, <laughs> he's, he's outside right now. Wait, he broke his dick. Yeah, do you remember Is this? Is similar to AB's story? Yeah. Uh, kind of, yeah. I do vaguely remember. I mean, God, that was a long time ago. Yeah, he was, uh, I, I believe, if I remember, it was a first time sleeping with someone as well. And, oh, uh, man. AB, you should say what up to accident. him. Yeah. Cross swords. You guys could dab up. I remember he called in, and it, it was a great call. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we look forward to seeing you. You know, if you want to prove... Hope the Nick's doing good. Yeah, if you see one of us, just whip out your dick to prove it's you. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't do that. That's horrible. Don't do that. That's Definitely a horrible do thing that. to do. No, don't you'll be escorted that. out. That's a crime. You'll be arrested. <laughs> you yeah. will be arrested. I did not put my dick anywhere near my dog. I didn't ask, Jordan. In fact. Uh, okay, well, I look forward to seeing you, buddy. That's great to hear. Thank you. Love that. If we sell out the Love Greek... Ya. Would that... That's got to be like one of the biggest live podcasts ever. What? Who does bigger podcast live podcasts than that? Nobody. Uh, no. Yeah. Let's. No. Just I'm say genuinely nobody. curious. I don't know. Like, I don't think. The, right. yeah, the, it's always. End. It's always sunny podcast. They do um, like live events. Like I know they they sold out a few theaters as well. Oh, we need to find out because I need to flex if that's the case. The stream. The steam. The streamies need to find out about this immediately. Right. Also, we're gonna have to pre present the award eventually for most attendees at a live podcast. Yes. Mm -hmm. And not to toot our own horn, but if it's me, we need then, more awards. You know, we need to be acknowledged with awards more. Thank you. That's right. She is Mrs. Steamies. She is beautiful. YouTube's sexiest night, starring <laughs> Ethan Klein. Other guests, unannounced yet. The crew of the H3 Podcast. Comedy by Jimmy Lee. Live performance by Rectangular Guy. Fuck, we gotta get Rectangular Guy out there for that. Oh, we got the timestamp. Here, let's let's take a walk through memory lane here about the, the broken dick. Penis snapped, is that right? Yeah, it, it was really, really weird. So... Uh, basically, I was meeting this guy and, you know, I was like, uh, you know, I was having sex with him and I, like, someone told me about this position that is called bumper cars. That's <laughs> right, the bumper oh, cars. Yeah, yeah wow. I forgot about the bumper cars. That's crazy. Go. There he is, man. That's a, don't do the bumper car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it, but I, tell me about it. <laughs> What is yeah, a bumper I mean, car? <laughs> this might be graphic. I don't know. Is it graphic? Might be. It was fairly graphic. Yeah. So let's not. Times have changed, my friends. The Steamies is a family event. Give a shout out to my family: Ethan, Ab, Cam, Dan, H Hila, Ian, Lena, Olivia, Sam, Zach. Man, that was when I stopped being a hater ass bitch, and we were friends with Ninja for like a week. Yeah. That was a good week. Times. That was a good days. week. How good? It was a nice week. Oh. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this it's is pretty good. Squeezy. Now, Linda <laughs> Yakarino. I'm going to call her Yakarino. Yakko, wacko, and dog. Yakko, wacko. Yakko, wacko, and dog, baby. So he hired this lady to be the CEO of X. It's clear to me that she's just some really weird puppet Elon simp. Like, really weird. X. She did a um X. a talk at Vox Media's recent event 
And people asked her a few questions, I mean, and, and she had trouble answering them. Um, it was quite illuminating, in fact, but, but I want about Elon's uh, influence on X. Let's say, so listen. I want to go back to your, uh, he runs product, uh, he runs technology, he leads a team of exceptionally talented engineers. <laughs> and who's kidding who? I don't care what the structure is at Meta, but who uh. wouldn't want Elon Musk sitting by their side mm. running product? <laughs> I see a show of hands. People are raising their hands. And frankly, from all accounts, that sounds like the worst case scenario. Yeah, super annoying. Yeah. But the, the smugness that she's like just fucking riding that <laughs> cock, man. She's trying to have his 15th baby or something. It'll probably be announced at some point. I, there may be a few show of hands to get the cute chuckles you're getting, but I would say the percentages in this room are about 99%. No shot. I would say no to that, and 1% of maybe personal opinion. So, feeling. Well, I mean, he's the richest man in the world. I mean, that's all, there's an asset in that, too, not just because he's, like, smart and can help you code. So there's that. That was just one clip. There's a whole bunch of them. Uh, she won't. This is great. <clears throat> so Elon Musk apparently said that X isn't going to be free anymore. He said that there'll be a charge for everybody, which would be phenomenal. I would love to see that, man. I don't. X wouldn't last the week. I don't think. But here she is uh, asking her this very straightforward question. Elon Musk just announced a new monthly fee for users. Yep. And my question for you is, do you want to start charging all users of X, as he said, and how many users do you think you will lose as a result? Can you repeat? <laughs> Elon Musk announced you're moving to- I'm sorry. You heard every damn word of that. <laughs> she is so mean. She even acknowledged while she was talking. She's like, uh-huh, uh -huh. I'm following. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. To an entirely subscription-based service. Yeah. Nothing free on, about using X. Do you, Did he say you're we gripping that chair on, or is thinking about it? Wait, hold on. Yeah, that was oh, important. Bad. No, you good. Service. Yeah. Nothing free on about using X. Do you, Did he say we were moving to it specifically, or is thinking about it? He said that's the plan. Yeah. So look how smug she is. <laughs> no. He yeah. goes. No, he I don't think that's that. smug. I kind of get smugness too. Yeah, she's bit. like, oh well, you don't she, know what's really happening. No, I I sense annoyance because she is constantly being undercut by this asshole, and this no. is the first time that she's hearing about this. That's for sure. Yeah, I think it's the first time she's hearing about it too. Which is another thing that Elon Musk notoriously does, according to his programmers, that he'll like make announcements in the press that they have n never heard about and have never started. Right. <laughs> Clear is thinking about it. He said that's the plan. Yeah. So yeah. did he consult you before he announced that? We talk about that's everything. Uh-huh. <gasps> Elon Musk. <laughs> oh, God. Who wouldn't want Elon Musk, right, working side so by side? So uncomfortable. She's so overcompensating. We talk about everything. Uh, another good one. Asked uh, about X's declining usage. Oh, no. Is that true, by the way? I don't know. It is, according to her. She basically confirmed uh, what people were speculating, that uh, there is a decline in usage. Okay. But it wasn't confirmed. Is this a photo? What yeah, it's fuck? just a photo to show that on her... Oh, she showed her... Okay, I see what's happening. Yeah, she has like Facebook and other platforms on there. But <laughs> she, not This is her homepage. <laughs> X isn't on it. Instagram's on there too. Instagram, you got Facebook. Instagram, Facebook. She's a Zuckerberg stan. <laughs> We love Zuck. How the fuck? I mean... She's boomer as hell. She's on Facebook. She's not on X. There it is. Wow. Fantastic, huh? What a moron. Good for you, lady. You got a killer job. You're gonna be alright. <laughs> We're all rooting for you. Also, uh, this weekend, Elon took the ugliest photo of anyone ever. It's like a straight to a... A uh, meme, a uh, cartoon meme, straight away. I mean, look at the soy happening here. This is a soy avatar. He's got the he's got the pilgrim esque <laughs> neck beard. He's got the weird hunched over jawline and mouth. He's got the back the cowboy hat, which is backwards. 
Oh, uh, this shit kills me every time. <laughs> Holy I shit. I saw some really funny <laughs> illustrations already this on is that. Brutal. Uh, at least the uh, the soy jack version of it is is in this. If you scroll down. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. What is with that beard, brother? God damn. Yeah. So that was fun. Yeah. I appreciate that happening. He was down on the border doing some kind of weird uh, immigration control thing. Really weird. Uh, he was <clears throat> kind of awkwardly milling around <laughs> talking to some Congress people and some Border Patrol agents. He's getting more political. Like, I know he's, he's been, trying, but to. he's getting more political. Like, what's he planning? Uh, well, I mean, I doubt that he would run for anything. He's not eligible to be president. And why the hell would he want to be like a senator or something? Yeah, that'd be way, way, or maybe a gov. Yeah, the, a governor, maybe. A governor, governor of Texas. Watch out, Abbott. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, more than anything, I think he's uh, the he's just desperate to get people using his app video features because that was sort of like the point of this was uh, to promote citizen journal journalism on uh, on Twitter and get people to. Uh. But uh, the issue is it his it it crashed several times again, like every time that he goes live because it's hit because he has so many followers. Anytime he goes live. It, he gets a shit ton of viewers and the servers can't handle it and it starts crashing. Uh, he went to the, let's see. He went to the, uh, the border to talk about people who are breaking the law and claim there would be a collapse in social services if the country didn't act to curb illegal immigrants. New York City is already ready to buckle under the load. He further added that the U.S. military needs to get involved and that tanks should be on the border and open fire on immigrants <laughs> with giant tank rounds. Mm. That's a joke. But there are people that. that say bring the military to the border, which is yeah, interesting. Every, everybody in the GOP debate last week said that. Let's get the tanks Literally, that's to just, the border. That's just the platform now. Is let's go to war with Mexico. Let's do it. No, not Mexico. Just immigrants. Just defenseless, desperate. They were saying they want to go into Mexico, though. And do what? To deal with, like, the cartels and stuff. Oh, <laughs> okay. Crazy. Well, the cartel stuff is... Yeah, it's still sending a military into your neighbor's country is kind of Well, if it's in wild. collaboration with the Mexican government, though. Yeah. Which it would be. Uh, I'm pretty sure you need permission. Yeah, no, of course. Yeah. You need permission. You don't think the Mexican government will want to get rid of the cartels? Uh, it's complicated. Let's, get to you. let's get them. Let's, do, let's just shoot anyone that moves, man. <laughs> we'll get them all eventually. Everyone. If we can kill a million people in Iraq, we can sure damn kill a million people in Mexico. No problem. You know? Thank you. Thank you. In other news, Liver King's been riding my nuts. <laughs> it's, we, it's funny because we were just wondering um, what's he been up to. And he's first, let's see. He first text mess texted me this. Let's see. Brian Liver King, aka. Never talk about my wife in this context. You're right. I apologize. I do apologize for that. Or was this on? Uh, nope. This was on Instagram. Let me pull it up. Where's Liver? There it is. Liver. So he goes. <clears throat> Primal Ethan. <laughs> oh, here I'll pull it up. I've got it. Primal! Bro, you already called me subprimal. You know we're not on the same wave wavelength. Right. Oh, no, this is just the PDF. Okay. So let me read the DM. <coughs> Liver says, <coughs> Primal Ethan, Liver King here, inviting you to the Barbarian Crucible because our modern-day men are submissive and weak. <laughs> I would know because I was one of them. I'm like, bro... I am not one of these people. <laughs> What's up, Larry King? Then I did what any self-respecting lion would do and weaponized the pain into a process. I created this show. I created this to show young men how to fucking strive. Plus, your audience would kill to see you suffer like this. Wow. You can make fun of the alpha right archetype along the way. That's a custom line. Yeah. 
Do you think he wrote this just for me? Or he just added a little custom line there? I thought he wrote it. At the very least, it was edited. Yeah. So I'm inviting giants across categories to bleed through the Barbarian Crucible. It's by invite only, and it's on my dime. It better fucking be. I'd like to send you all the details, if you're man enough to accept. <laughs> Bro, I'm not eight. Hmm. Pussy. <laughs> you, are you a pussy or a man? He continues, trust me, you're gonna want to see more. Or else you'll have to live with the regret. What's your email? And I was, at first I was like, whatever, Brian. But then I was like, fuck, I want to see that PDF, actually. So I said, hell yeah, brother, here's my email. <laughs> and I got the email. Here's the crucible. I don't know what this shit is. This is my personal invite from Liver. The Liver King Challenge. Which, by the way, is not actually that personal, as you'll see in the next link. But this one, the no, media? I you'll, you'll see what I mean oh. as we go on. Barbarian Crucible, why our modern day men are hurting the most, man? They're weak, subprimal, and submissive. I would know because that I was one of them. I weaponized the pain into a process. The barbarian, isn't this what he DM'd you? It's sim, it's very similar. <laughs> <laughs> I want to spread this message and share a path for young privals to fucking strive, man. Here I am wandering through the desert with weights attached to me. Yo. Just like my ancestors. Which, <laughs> which, as you know, is a great use of our limited time on this earth. Yes. <laughs> I get working out, but what is this, man? You're literally like, this is like a Greek tragedy parable. It's like the guy who keeps pushing the rock uphill forever. <laughs> this is this. Is this. Yeah. That's you, man. You don't have, and you don't have to be that. Uh, let's see. We got the exclusive invite, guys. Availability is changing daily as others accept the Barbarian Crucible. Take massive fucking action. <laughs> and hit reply within two hours or else there will be consequences. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Again, Brian, I'm 38. And okay. what is this like boomer ass chain email thing? If you do not forward this to 10 people, you will die within seven days. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my God, Brian, you're such a fucking goofball. You have like the mentality of an eight year old, literally, man. I think your kids might be more mature. What? The Barbarian Crucible is composed of nine stages. Calling upon the alpha masculine tactical virtues across history. Strength, courage, mastery, honor, and loyalty. Tactical virtues. <laughs> what is a tactical virtue? Mastery? How is that a virtue? <laughs> That's like a skill level, right? I mean, mastery is not a virtue. Uh-huh. Here he is after a big, long workout, man. Look at the... He's sitting, boy, because he just worked real hard. Taking a shit. On his estate, on his massive estate. <laughs> Welcome to the way of the barbarian. He has not said anything yet. 126 ways to be a fucking man. 126 ways to take whatever the fuck you want in life. Oh, uh, no, there's some limitations on that, right? A couple. We need consent. Uh, to always stack the deck, dominate, and win at life. Bro, you haven't told me anything. What is this? Outcome. A more complete beast, you. The Barbarian Crucible is a YouTube series featuring YouTube giants. Man, who's going to agree to do this? He's calling you fat? Huh? YouTube <laughs> giants? Oh, I don't think he meant it like that. You know, but maybe. Okay. But maybe. Just like a camp? It's, it's just space camp for <laughs> alphas. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Uh, it's strikingly compelling and primal AF content to disseminate on our respective platforms to spread the message, give young primals a path to dominate. Here's a quote. Regret is the, regret is the haunting echo of choices unmade and opportunities untaken. A reminder that the past is an eternal part of, part, <sighs> part of us upon which we etch the lessons of our soul. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to regret not doing this. You're going to be thinking about it for the rest of your life. Only. Yeah. Only. There's pretty You're gone. <sighs> like on a of, three day seminar. <laughs> like if I could have a list of like all the options I could do in my life, like a million things, man. All converging timelines. That would be really far down there. Let's see. You, you can't shower. 
You got to sleep on a wood board. Uh, you only eat fucking testicle. Sounds like a great time. Uh, God, it's still going. When are you going to say what, what is this? Yeah, so that was, I, I, I found this, and this seems to be the same event, and this is just like a public thing. So that's why I was saying, like. Wait, this is a different. Wait, what the fuck? No, this yeah, is I the Barbarian. No, but he said this is of invite only, bro. Right. This is for kings of YouTube. So, right. so the Barbarian challenge, when, when he was here, they described it. The Barbarian is that, if you scroll up um, to that uh, bird's eye view shot or whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's the barbarian challenge. It's like a backpack full of weights, and then more weights behind you, and then like. Bro, you're in the middle of the street, man. You know, let's not block traffic at the very least. And apparently, you have to walk with those weights for like a mile or more. Here, more after you're finished pre-training. Optional. Most are ready with no prep required. Some are not. If that's you, I have a one-on-one -on -one guide. Whatever. Fucking shut up. Time commitment from dusk till dawn. It's one day. Safety. Ancestral tenant five is shield. Don't be a little bitch. Ain't nothing to worry about. We got this. Thanks, man. I feel much more confident. Every lion knows what is right. Wins. And what is wrong dies. Good thing we're not like, have to live like that anymore. His biological imperative is a fundamental as nature because it is his nature. Yada yada. I didn't. I don't understand what. That's it. Liver King out. What did Liver I? Liver King say? out. There was nothing. Just. It didn't say anything. I don't text. know what's happening. <laughs> that's the longest. You have nothing. So then here's the public one, I guess. Uh. Here's a summary. Maybe this will give us a better idea. Why modern? Why modern boy men? Why modern day men are pussies? What does that mean? It's like a lesson that we're gonna learn? It's just a summary, yeah. So yeah, he will uh, sum yeah. that up for you. Man boy into barbarian. Barbarian into cave. Cave. King. Cave into fucking kingdom. That's a summary? Uh-huh. I feel like it's gonna be like in Napoleon Dynamite when they went to that karate studio. That dude. Right, the, with, the, with the American. Yeah, exactly. Pants. Oh, yeah. But good about it, yeah, exactly. So, and then he just put toxic masculinity with no explanation. <laughs> You'll be getting a lot of that. He's what? Where he's like? <laughs> we have it in spades. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, why modern day are pussies? Tell me, suffering from low manhood, low virility, virility, and low testosterone. Cool. Well, I know how to fix low testosterone with a fucking needle. That's how he did and it. And some elixir. <laughs> He did it just like his ancestors. Mm-hmm. Man, I don't know what so you're on about, dude. This is weird. What does he want from me? Like, genuinely. To what? all you dads out there that don't lift, happy Father's Day. Okay, okay, so he made a video, okay. To your uh, wives. We haven't, because real fathers... We haven't checked this, uh, audio. And be cautious. If Our there's music. fucking hell to provide. Family is our why in the world. Bro, you are not walking around like that. <laughs> <laughs> Your kids are gonna be so bully, man. I feel bad for those little- those boys are eating raw meat and walking with their dad who's cosplaying as like... Crocodile Dundee, dude. <laughs> Why you look like that? Today is Father's Day because every day is Father's Day. In memory of my own Sick. dad, who passed when I was just two. Every day is an opportunity to grow- I guess that explains the... The lack of a father figure could my you know, sometimes it just goes sideways. Mm -hmm. To apply the principles of your cave dad to everyday life. To make the most of the weaponry he has armed you with. For cave dads like Liver King, today and every day is Father's Day. To lead from the every front. Every day is Father's Day. <laughs> Provide them with the weaponry to scale and lead themselves. Scale and lead a team. And one day, to become the tip of the fucking spear. You guys are just... Lifting Jesus. weights. It's not that serious because they're just exercising. You know what I mean? It's just exercise. It's good. But it's not that serious. They scaled and lead their own tribe. Our dad job is simple. To affirm our boys with a depth of challenge, worth and potential. So that one day... They His kids work out really hard. <laughs> yeah. the, the only difference is they're not on steroids. Right. They're like, Dad, why don't I look like you? 
I'll talk to you about it, son, when you're 18. <laughs> I'll share my secrets with you then. Even themselves. Yes, son. You are the ultimate weapon. You are the creator of your destiny. Yeah, that's there cool, Dad. No I have algebra homework. Can I, can I get to that? I think they're homeschooled, bro. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, they only take classes in butchery. Right. Arrow shooting. Right. That makes sense. And <laughs> cave paintings. <laughs> Yeah, all Days all Mac, art, and uh, PE. That's right. Yeah. What else do you need? Even when it's challenging, especially when it's tiring, and always when we don't feel like the king on the inside, we owe it to them to be the evolutionary hunters that we were born to be, so they can grow up. He's just, he's just so thirsty for purpose. This man has no purpose in his life. He's right. super rich. He lives on this giant ranch by himself, nobody around except his kids. He has no purpose, so he invented this whole barbarian thing to make it seem like, you know, he's the center of some epic adventure. But you're just, it's just not that serious, man. You're just dragging weights behind you. A truck can do that. <laughs> Strong and become their own formidable force in the world. I will rest when I have done my job. When you, son, are a self-made king. Literally. Not self-made. You live on a fucking like $10 million ranch, dummy. Self-made. That's right, son. Didn't they found some like medical supply company or something? Yeah. Isn't that how they got rich? Yeah. And his wife was like a dentist or some shit. Yeah. My son's going to Harvard even though he's never attended school. Oh, they're wacky dentists, <laughs> dude. What's going on with dentists? I know, man. Starting, That's I'm what starting I'm to trying get to say. Starting to understand the prejudice. I keep like, trying to yeah. say dentists are a weird. They're a weird bunch of folks. Huh. <laughs> Something about staring into the mouth all day, or maybe the lidocaine. I mentioned that before. Maybe he's just being around that. Hold it. Oh. By the way, she was apparently a dentist, and now they don't believe in brushing. Yeah. Shoot the son of a bitch. So she went to school for like 12 years to become a doctor. And now she's like, nah, I changed my mind all that. No brushing. Bullshit. That is such horseshit, bro. That's such horseshit, right? I think he sprays BO deodorant. This is this is not factual, so I'll claim. I think he sprays some BO deodorant or uh, uh, perfume on. Says he doesn't shower. I think that's fucking <coughs> Bro, I smelled him. That man does not shower. Zach's oh, suggesting that this, the smell was fake somehow. I don't believe that. I don't think so. It was... It was ridiculously, overwhelmingly pungent. Well, that, to the extent that, like, I almost, I almost am a little suspicious, too. <laughs> that, like, that, how can somebody no, smell that if, bad? If you don't ever shower, and you work yeah, but, out all day, yeah. and you're super fucking hairy, you're gonna stink. He would not stop sweating when he was in studio. Yeah, too. he had like a whole river of <laughs> yeah, wet yeah, maybe. down his fat maybe. titty. His titty can. It was the distance too. Like I was over here and I smelled him the second he entered the building. Like when he stepped in the door all the way over there. Like I, I heard his voice and immediately the smell hit me in the face. Like, I don't even know. That's of crazy a that you can buy because it smelled like bo. It wasn't like a fart. Sure, or right. Something. I just think he's. That'd be like, awesome if it was like just sulfur. But do you think he's know. really like sleeping on a board? No, like, that I don't buy. Nah, so you just think he just doesn't shower, or do you think he, he, when he goes on PR trips, he just doesn't shower for like two weeks? I think he does all this shit for the most part, but some of it is like super embellished. Like he, that man sleeps in like a California king size bed. Totally. You know what I mean? yeah. Made of horse hair and tuft and organic cotton. <laughs> What I don't understand is he's like, oh, I'm super primal, ancestral tenants. He wears a fucking hundred thousand dollar watch. Like I don't think they had that when we were cavemen. So you say? Well, and moreover, I mean, just the whole mm -hmm. lying about the story. Like that, I don't know how anybody can take this guy seriously ever again. I don't think he's, anyone does. That, good. I hope yeah. not. I don't he think lost everything. I think the the whole like ancestral thing that the entire basis of his persona ended up to be a. A total lie. He, he's a complete fraud. It's like, yeah. why would you listen to this guy for anything? I think, and I don't think anyone does. And I think it's comment section or just people like amused by his people hiking. just dunking on him. Well, he does silly, stupid stuff still. Like, right. I will say he's entertaining. <laughs> I'll give him that. Yeah, he's got charisma. Sure. Like, yeah. the, the whole thing. Although the shtick really wore out on me pretty quickly. Like it was, it was funny for for a minute there. But um, to all you dads out there that don't. 
Yeah, this shit's weird. This is just a crazy weird money grab. This is like desperate e marketing shit, man. This guy cannot stop. Okay. There it is. Nasty. I was the only one taking those liver supplements for a little bit too. And to show the effectiveness of it, uh, not long after I became a vegetarian. Right. So, <laughs> uh, you know. Damn. That, that says something. Uh, Alex's. That sounded pretty primal. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, man? That man is a demon. Um, we have a raging debate going on between, I made a comment on Friday that, uh, I said, ibuprofen is dangerous and would be, um, not over the counter if it was released today. And then on the subreddit, I noticed there's a, th there's a lot of, um, well, here's what I said about it. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> a little bleeding out. So let's see, both ibuprofen and Tylenol are commonly used. I know that. So here it's listing all the terrible things about ibuprofen. <laughs> So Tylenol says, or sorry, yeah, Tylenol says the most significant risk with Tylenol is liver damage or failure. That sounds pretty bad, especially when taken in high dose or combined with alcohol. So mm. you kind of got to fuck around. Mm. Overdosing Tylenol, I mean, that's... Primal. So I was wrong about that, actually. You can overdose. It's easier to overdose on Tylenol than ibuprofen. So right. you can take a bunch of Tylenol and then just die. Which I guess is not as easy to do with ibuprofen. I guess. Uh, but I tried to do some... Here's the thread. And the reason I even pull it up is the comments are pretty funny. And I don't even know that they're right. So here's the PSA. Tylenol is way more dangerous than ibuprofen. And it puts 1,500 people in the hospital every year. You think it's confusing what he heard about Tylenol with ibuprofen. You can easily overdose on Tylenol, end up needing an organ transplant or dying. <clears throat> that part's true. Actually, that's an important correction is that Tylenols, they're both, I guess, pretty, pretty dangerous to take. Yeah, to, to overuse or to, um, to combine it with alcohol or anything. Oh, I gotta blow my nails. Relax. Nice. Relax. Excuse me. Um, but the comments cracked me up, man. This person is like on an absolute mission. Let's see. This one is, is perfectly valid point. That one I like. Um, uh, here, uh, okay. It looks like some of the more psychotic ones maybe got buried by now. Uh, but the one I saw was on the top. About, okay, this, this is my favorite one. This is the OP. Mods! <laughs> Dude. <laughs> it seriously worries me that Ethan has confused what he heard about Tylenol with ibuprofen. Popping <sighs> Tylenol like candy, which is not something I don't believe I ever advocated for. Popping Tylenol like candy? I need, I need receipts. I don't remember saying anything like that. Popping Tylenol like candy can cause serious health problems, require a liver transplant, and cause death. It, it is Tylenol that would not be approved by the FDA today, not ibuprofen. But the best part of this is mods! What? <laughs> what are you- what are you asking the mods to do exactly? <laughs> like, like, what- what is- what is it that you want them to do at this moment? It seriously worries me that Ethan has confused them. Okay, you have- so, mods, reach out. Let's, you know... Let's take this seriously. <laughs> Didn't they expect Avery to like airdrop in here or something? Oh man. But so the thing that I kept thinking of, oh and then this one, he has drank cold medicine straight from the <laughs> bottle on the show without measuring. <laughs> Seriously dangerous. Okay, that's not true. I did it in a shot glass and so we know how much. You know. I've always been um, paranoid to dig Tylenol. It sounds like it's perfectly no, it's perfectly fine. Just don't take too much of it. Right, but like I've always been told, like if if you are drinking, take ibuprofen or Advil or something like that for like a hangover. Yeah, that's what I've always been told. Also, I've been this is irrational thought, but do you remember what 
happened back in the 80s with Tylenol? What, like one of the one of the bottles got poisoned or something? It was like five people died from that. That was back when they were. There was no mods back then. There was no mods back. Then. I think that's when they added this the seal. Right. There was no seal before that. But also, also it was a, a capsule um, rather than um, what it is today. And how long ago was that? I think it was like in the 80s, 85, 86. All right. We can let that go by now. Yeah, I know. A rational, <laughs> a rational fear. Here. Yeah. Just putting that out. You weren't even born. I mean, I wasn't even a thought, you know, but imagine this. At one point, we almost went to nuclear war with Russia. That's some existential dread there. How about that? That's uh, talk to that with my therapist. Just something to keep in mind. Uh, here's someone said, I'm aware Tylenol can be dangerous, but my brother literally just had to go to the hospital for three days due to horrible kidney values. The doctor determined it was from ibuprofen. Brother had been having migraines and other body pains due to work and stress and was just taking a bunch of ibuprofen for a while. It almost killed him. So what are you saying? I am mods. I am seriously concerned that this poster here is, is, uh, you know, it, it, they're exactly, they're saying pop ibuprofen like candy. Okay. Mods! <laughs> It's so funny, man. Get the mods. I'm seriously worried, mods. What did that? I'm genuinely curious. Do anyone know what they're asking for? What do they want? Just to, just to tell me. Okay. Oh, they're like worried about my health. Oh, okay. They want to save my life. Okay, I respect that. It's a matter of time. <laughs> I respect that. Thanks for, I mean, they care and I appreciate that. I will say this conversation has uh, brought to my attention. I take way too much Advil. Uh, Interesting. Well, how much do you take? Uh, I probably take two every other day. That is pretty serious usage. Yeah. yeah. You should cut back. Yeah. But why? You have chronic uh, headaches? What do you mm. Mm. I, I find that it will calm down uh, some anxious feelings. Um Really? Kinda, you take it for anxiety? Well, there's mellow, better yeah. stuff than that. I, I know. I'm aware of that. Um, I oh, just, I've never heard of that. You take Tylenol for anxiety? Yeah. I don't know if it's a placebo thing or what. That's what he said, Dan. Advil. That's Tylenol. Ad no, 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 no. Different. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, so you take ibuprofen? I take ibuprofen, yes. It helps your anxiety? I, I don't know if it's placebo or what, but it works. You could Have, have you been seen a psychiatrist? I see a psychologist. You should see a psychiatrist. Yeah. Because they, you know what I mean? Because I guarantee you, that's probably... No, it's probably not that good. Yeah. Yeah. That's a weird Zach thing. <laughs> I can't imagine many people doing that. Just taking Advil for anxiety every other day. Yeah. That's really I find it ca calms me down. How did you first discover that? Um, I think I, I, I was having a headache one day and... I just found that it just totally calmed me down and kind of relaxed me and find it easier to fall asleep. Is it? It might be. It for sure thing. is. Yeah. yeah, for sure is. No, no, not good. Well, that's good. We potentially saved Zach's life. There you go. Thank you for saving my life. But that. So we did lots of research because I remember always hearing that like one of these should never have been made over the counter. And so we did all kinds of research. Um, we found that both drugs are safe when they're used as instructed. And, you know, Tylenol is considered one of the safest over the counter medicines, apparently. Uh, but the reason many regard it as dangerous is because ibuprofen, it's because uh, a single dose uh, can be fatal of Tylenol if you take too much. Like whereas, an overdose, yeah. Yeah, whereas I yeah, when, when taken as directed, Tylenol is generally considered very safe, but you can OD on it. So ibuprofen, on the other hand, is toxicity level. I guess is it's it's much rarer for people to overdose on ibuprofen. Um, ibuprofen. Uh, I can't read because your cursor's covering. Ibuprofen. Ibuprofen, however, also has some serious health risks. Chronic long-term use can lead to gastrointestinal bleeding, kidney problems. Ibuprofen can cause m marked worsening of uh, hypertension or developing new blood pressure, uh, high blood pressure. 
can also damage the kidneys, worsening of heart failure, and even heart attack hitting a stroke. I don't know, I don't know that sounds good at all. Anxiety meds. In, care, in rare cases, this can be severe enough to be life-threatening. But here's the thing, if you look up any medicine side effects, it's all yeah. crazy. I haven't been able to take any pain meds here. I'm too scared that America doesn't like regulate their dosage. Because none of the stuff that's over the counter here is um, available in Sweden in like stores. I got, got some Tylenol. I got some Advil yeah. right here, dude. Ibuprofen. I don't know. Most of them are not available really? over the counter. Yeah. Well, I mean, it scares me to take. We're all taking it, so you'll be fine. I know, but I don't trust like your guys's like uh, we're regulations. We're all doing it. I know, I know, I know. But I don't trust your guys' regulations as much as I do. Well, what do you mean regulations? It's just the medicine. Because you're saying some stuff is not supposed to be over the counter. It's just saying, uh, there's a saying that if it were to come out today, yeah. it would have been made by prescription only. Right, yeah. But the re but like the medicine is, no, I'm, I'm, the yeah, amount I mean, is correct. Yeah, I know. So what do you take when you have a headache in Sweden? I don't know. I had... I took some with me, Swedish ones that I've r that's run it's out. Probably now. Tylenol. It has a different name in Europe. Yeah, I bet it's. It, it, I'm almost sure, certain it's Tylenol. They call it uh, here. It's called uh, paracetamol. Paracetamol. Oh yeah, that is yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, that's hers. That's Tylenol. Okay. It's the same thing. Huh, interesting. So that one I'll feel safe taking. <laughs> Yeah, and it is safe. Just too. don't, you know, just don't take a whole bottle of it, and you'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I never take it really. And yeah. Uh, so I don't know what to say. I guess they're both dangerous, but uh, we need to let the mods know. And as far as your uh, confusion about the, if it were released today, it wouldn't be allowed to be sold over the counter. I I, I saw arguments for both Tylenol and the ibuprofen. Uh, Tylenol is more dangerous than ibuprofen. It puts 1,500 people in the hospital every year. Oh, that's, that's just the thread. That's, scratch that. Uh, but I guess Tylenol would probably be more likely to be prescribed just because it has a higher risk of... Death. Overdosing. Yeah. So they would be like, here's the amount you take. I should have claimed that there have been uh, calls for ibuprofen to come behind the counter and need a prescription. This is true for both ibuprofen and Tylenol. People are trying to advocate for that. The awareness of Tylenol's danger and calls for it to be put behind the counter are more recent, but there have been studies supporting ibuprofen being put behind the counter as well. So there you go. Okay, uh, guys, whoever's in touch with the mods, please let them know. <laughs> I don't know. This thread was killing me, man. <laughs> so there you go. I appreciate your concern, though. Oh, here's a doctor's comment. Tylenol is much more safe than ibuprofen, says Dr. Bob's Lake House. No. That's what I said originally, right? Or I said the opposite. No. No, that's what I said. No, I'm that's a Tylenol what you said. boy. Yeah, you were no. saying you like Tylenol, ibuprofen. Yo, thing. what's happening now, OP? 1,500 deaths a decade is peanuts. Ibuprofen does 15,600 deaths a year. However, it is all medicine and not candy, so be careful about your usage. I would always recommend Tylenol as a pain reliever over aspirin or ibuprofen. The side effects are much less than ibuprofen. No. Hmm. Uh, yes, there are some instances where inflammatory pain like arthritis where you choose ibuprofen, but again, usually also be mindful of side effects and prolonged use. All the deaths come from overdosing exceeding the daily limit. If you take way more than the maximum limit, you can get liver failure, but even people with severe liver failure should be able to handle the maximum dose. Maximum daily limit is four grams or eight. So he's saying eight extra strength pills per day is the maximum dose. Because 500 is extra strength, 300 is the normal one. Eight per day. Take in two at a time within four hours between. It's not easy to overdose on Tylenol. You have to exceed maximum daily limit by a lot, usually. There are preventable deaths though, Packing in blisters would be safer. Packing in blisters. Oh. oh like that, instead of a bottle, the of a time bottle. where you have to pop them out. Yeah, the bottle is kind of crazy. It's just so many, I guess, now that I know this. Always read the instructions and don't use ibuprofen because you think it's safer. It isn't. Also, listen to ChatGPT for medical. Don't listen. Well, hold on. I was right. 
You weren't right about that part. No. Because you listen to ChatGPT for medical information all the time. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Ask ChatGPT if you but should But I was him. right. And the doctor co-signs me. So <laughs> he's co-signing ChatGPT. Somebody on Reddit <laughs> who says that they're a doctor. Not that, they Are very well may be. Bob's Lake like, House is lying? I'm, I'm just saying maybe a Reddit thread on RH3H3 Productions is not <laughs> the place to... Uh, to settle this. He, he finishes. He like said that. it very confidently. They said it very confidently, I should say. I believe. Yeah. I choose to believe him. <laughs> okay. But seriously, Tylenol. Well, then way in that case, where are the mods? We need to take care of the uh, the original poster it. of this thread. Wait, this mods. Is, mods. We need to get a hold of mods. This he's got it totally backwards. <laughs> Yo, he's got it totally backwards. We got to get a hold of him. <laughs> <laughs> so fun. So crazy. We got the best. We got the best community, man. Truly. <laughs> um, thank you. What is this? I just got to have breaking Howie Mandel news. Yeah. Uh, really? Speaking of mods. What the fuck? That thumbnail's out of control, Howie. Look at the title. Howie oh. Mandel does Tana Mongu live? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, look at the thumbnail. Sorry? Mods. Mods. Dude. <laughs> Howie Ill, Mandel Howie. does Tanamon. Okay. So Howie decided he doesn't need to be in the thumbnail now, all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Interesting. Very, very <laughs> interesting. Wow, Howie's coming up big time, huh? He he's pulled a, he pulled Tana. He's learning the game. The mods on this. Mods! Mods, can you do something about that? Mods. Mods, it's my turn to play the PlayStation. So funny. Uh, okay, so there you go. Thank you, everybody. We I hope we've all learned something really valuable today. Learned a lot. Let's do a poll, and then this will decide which is more dangerous, Tylenol or ibuprofen. <laughs> and now this will be the decider that we'll all accept from now on. <laughs> Was that a good idea? Yes. Yeah. Fant yeah. It's a phenomenal idea. You think the chat? If we just crowdsource it from the chat, it'll definitely be accurate. That's my point. The people are never wrong. So this 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 will um settle the debate once and for all and mods. The, the question is which one is more dangerous? Yeah. Which one is more dangerous? Ibuprofen or Tylenol. Yeah. And mods, I hope you're watching because this is relevant. Yeah. Highly relevant. Eyes up, mods. Eyes open, eyes up. All right, so I'm voting for Ibuprofen, because apparently Tylenol is God's drug, according to do Dr. Bob's Lake House, the doctor. <laughs> you see this though, it's 50-50, like even after all that, I mean, it's so maybe, silly. Maybe the, both's dangerous. They are both dangerous, yeah. the <laughs> That's the point. It, yeah. yeah. Like most drugs. That. I ain't taking that shit, fuck. I mean, you know, you could take too much, me I've heard of people taking too much melatonin and dying. Yeah. Really? You can die so too much uh, water. That's true. Especially if it gets Dan, in your lungs, so dude. True. That's so interesting that you say that. Yeah. It's called drowning. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's not. You can drink too much water and die. That's true too. Of, of I was water. making a drowning joke, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. But yes, you can also just water is water. deadly. Very deadly, in fact. My mom always said you can drown in a teaspoon of water, so you have to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. The people have spoken. So guys, beware of ibuprofen. Ibuprofen is the devil. Tylenol is the god. <laughs> Tylenol like candy. Ibuprofen never under any excuse. <laughs> With the 5644 pool. That's what we've learned. Of course I'm kidding. Follow the, in the instructions, man. Listen to your doctor. Listen to the doctor. Take all the drugs instructions. Of course. It seems like they're both dangerous, you know? They both could be uh, by prescription only. Yeah. But it is. How hard is it to understand? Use as directed, right? Yeah. It's not like one of the good drugs, like weed or alcohol, that you can just take an unlimited amount of. Yeah. <laughs> there's there's no recommended amount of alcohol. Yeah. No. It's just whatever. Have at it. Whatever you can fit. It's a great pain reliever too. Mm-hmm. Right. It's the biggest drink of the night of the year. Exactly. You get it. All well, right. It uh, solves anxiety, Zach. No. Oh, yeah. You could, you could try that. I hear it just takes a sipper. Sip or two. Three sips of beer. Three sips. <laughs> I also find that like, I'm getting like um, like carpal tunnel. Like I find that like my fingers are uh, 
So Advil. Weed and alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. Are you getting sticky? Like, how's it feel in your fingers? Like, uh, well, I play guitar. Yeah. I push keys for a living. Mm. So, like, I, you know. You're a Lego man, too. Yeah. So. <laughs> but, so, I, I, there's exercises you can do to prevent carpal tunnel, you know. Oh, I do, I do uh, these finger stretches um, that I read online that are pretty That's good. That's good. Yeah. But, um, this is one I learned in typing class in fifth grade, and I remembered it. I don't know why. I feel like it can't be real. She says, turning the doorknob. Turning the doorknob. Yeah. Like right. I, I get in my wrist. We like my, turning the doorknob? My not. wrist. A yeah. lot. Yeah. yeah. We when, turned, I, when I broke my arm, I, I broke it right here. And I did this with a towel. Impressive. Like twisting. It's kind of the same thing hmm. to uh, like work up the muscles again. Oh. So I'll give it kind of a the, shot. So we're turning the doorknob. Yeah. All right. I'll give it a we're shot. We're opening the door and stepping into a healthier Hell yeah. wrist. Cameron, take Very notes. Good. Let me try it. Hold on. Open I the door. A, I, I just have a chiropractor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, nice. Cam. Snap him. Uh, open the door and, or twist the knob. Okay, now open the door. What do you see behind the door? Hello? It's an abandoned house in there. Oh. Now shut step in. No, I'm going to show you. What does it smell like in there? Haunt. It smells like the liver king in here. I don't want to go through it. Any drifters shooting up? Let's see. We've got the uh, cringe couple of the year. The YouTube prankster got shot. That one's pretty good. Mm, this is very good. This one's quite good. This guy, Lamino, who makes these super long, detailed um, reaction videos that was... This is one of the guys who was famously ripped off by a bunch of Twitch streamers. Uh-oh. And so XQC goes, I always get permission. I always get permission. He kept trying to tell me that. Not that anything matters anymore, but... He came out and made a video. I think it's pretty interesting, actually. He's this is the guy that made the JFK assassination video, right? Uh, I'm not sure. Let me double check. It was like a hour long, oh, super highly edited and researched video, and they were they were all just watching it with zero commentary. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, so he was at the heart of all this. So it was kind of interesting that he actually he, he's putting out a, a statement. It's only two minutes. Let's hear him out. And essentially re-uploading it. But let's start with this one. For those unaware, there's been this ongoing debate for several years now regarding Dirty what's known guy. as reaction <laughs> content. The appeal of which is to watch someone. Same watch voice. And similar react. voice. That's what it was. <laughs> Not made. that similar. Um, uh, it's just the voiceover. Guy, yeah. Zesty. Pathetic. Zesty. Yeah. <laughs> Zesty. <a> guy. <laughs> Zesty. <laughs> to other people's videos. After some of these uh, channels reacted to my latest video and videos made made by a few other creators, the debate started all over again, which is what this question is referring to. I don't mind people reacting to my videos, but I do mind when they play the entirety of my video. A face cam in the corner or the occasional interruption does nothing to address that issue. My video is still being played from beginning to end in someone else's stream or video. It's neither ethical nor necessary Listen, to feature bro, the entirety of someone Listen bro, it's cool else's. that you have that opinion, but where's your proof that it didn't get you more views? Checkmate. Mm-hmm. If... And the, how can you prove that the drop off wouldn't have been more sharp? Yeah, yeah, true. Checkmate. Could have been worse. You can never disprove that theory. Excuse me, he's such a fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah. Work just to provide commentary on that work. If movie review channels can function without playing the entire movie, then so too can reaction channels. No. Nope. Indeed, some of them do precisely that. They can't because. Their whole system of content production is contingent upon zero effort, super long content. They got to stream like eight hours a day because of their Twitch contracts. And so they need a ton of shit to watch without any uh, thought, forethought. So careful where you're treading there, buddy. Stepping on a lot of toes. You know, they'll play a brief clip of what they're watching, followed by their reaction. Even streamers can do things like only show the progress bar, thereby forcing viewers to seek out the original You're video. You're fucking to dreaming sync. if you think anyone would do that. Can you imagine? That's crazy. I love his ideas, but... And I fully support him, by the way. He's right 100%, by the way. I'm being, being sarcastic. Uh, yeah. Up and watch along with the streamer. 
or you know, they, they could do the bare minimum and ask for permission. Something that none of the major reaction channels have ever done when they've streamed. No major reaction channels have asked this man for permission. And this is one of the most highly reacted to videos on Twitch. They all have a re-upload of this shit. So who, what did, why do they keep lying and saying they ask permission? You just, you don't. Stop lying, dude. Streamed or re-uploaded my videos. I highly recommend this video by the channel Legal Eagle that, that goes was a through good video. this whole thing in more detail with a focus on the legality of it all. And there are plenty of other videos on this topic as well. I don't really know what should be done about this because there's clearly an audience for this type of content. Banning it outright might work. Or, you know, it might just push that audience to a platform that does allow for reaction content. I, I think the ideal solution would be for YouTube and other platforms to implement some sort of reaction feature. Perhaps when you click on a reaction video, you're taken to the watch page of the video being reacted to, but with elements of the person reacting being layered on top. It's interesting. That is interesting. Something that's like a, that. that's actually that a really like, good idea. It's a good idea. I have to imagine from an engineering standpoint, probably pretty tricky to do, but that would be not a, I mean, not some a sort bad of revenue suggestion. split system yeah, as well. That would like but, solve all the problems. That's yeah. wild. Hmm. Zesty. Or well, I guess technically you could still sue them, but So what would it be? It'd be like if you're live and then you use this function it counts it as if all of your live viewers are also watching like it would like right now we have about 45,000 people watching so if we did a react to a long video it would give that person 45,000 views i don't know how that would work i was th i thought he just effectively everybody that is watching our stream is now watching the video you're right you're right it's very comp it's just like i mean i don't know it's, you guys know how i feel about it it's just silly because there's all these twitch streamers that people like and it's just like become totally fine to steal people's content now because they're cool dudes doing it now and not dumbasses that are easy to dunk on. Ludwig, by the way, who everybody loves, and I'm not, I'm just singling him out because I saw it on the, so somebody sent it to me. He fucking was playing a podcast clip and walked away from the room for 25 minutes Crazy. while the podcast played for his audience. Our podcast? Yeah, ours. Here, I'll pull, I'll pull the uh, clip. And I mean, you know, it may have been an accident. Oh, you got it. Thank you, baby. So, is this a sleep stream? And someone, like, donated for that to play? It's yeah. It's 11 Probably. hours, 12 hours stream. Uh, a sleep stream? Can we not do that what anymore? What the fuck is this? Guys, we what? What, the video or what? No, a sleep stream? Yeah. It's... Sorry? Yep. So... So while you while I sleep, enjoy this podcast. So he plays the stuff. What? I, Are you might... fucking for real? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Here, let me see when it transitions. Do a lot of people even watch this? Is this there's, like so? Yeah. yeah. There's like a there's like browser add-ons where chat could play games or they could suggest videos. That's what Love is talking about to be played. I think the videos thing is kind of insane, but yeah, it's just like they're basically like hanging out in a Discord server, but in or on Twitch, rather. But feeding a streamer views and money while he sleeps. <laughs> a lot of the times, too. This is Just take the night off, man. Next level, dude. What the fuck? I think it's pretty common, to be honest with you, yeah, Dan. Yeah, really common. Okay. I've done it. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to say that, but I'm pretty... <laughs> you do I, that? I, I just have you to... Do I... that and you have your audience pull up videos on your no, stream? No, 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 no. I don't have anything. I literally just have the lights off. I have the sound off. It's... On... I only have to acknowledge it because I know people are going to... So people watch you out. sleep? I No, I, I usually walk off camera. That's it. Nothing. You just keep it open. Just keep it open. That's it. But I've seen people sleep. So people can come in and chat. Yeah. Look, theoretically, that's fine with me. They're not, there's nothing, they're not doing anything wrong. But this playing video shit is nuts. Let me see this. Pathetic. I hate it. I get angry. I'm sure, you, yeah. I'm sure you like, you, you're just like, oh, that's a weird comment. You move on with your day. I read them and I'm just like... What is the matter with you? You become the. Oh, let me just fast forward. Yeah, so that's his own video. So that's it's yeah, like and then whatever. I, I don't know if it. Something like oh, it may have auto played. Maybe now, let's see. Oh, um, maybe if it auto played. I'll be so. I'm now. The fuck? I thought I put it right at the board. Okay, here. I don't say we. Yeah, so it ended. We all do this uh, with you. Where's my uh, American friends at? <laughs> is, there, is, this like a, is this like a four H thing? By the way, they all do this too. God, such a good way to get people to pay you. 
watch an extra hour of every episode only if you pay us on Patreon. I was thinking about doing that for the members only on Friday. We, I end, could, we end and then continue for members. I could never do that. Well, it's like just one time. I know, I know, and like, I, I know it drives crazy yeah, fucking, you, but I, I can never do that. My show is free for the people. You know what I mean? Sure, sure. I'm for the people, and let it be known that forever and always. But boy, we could get paid. <laughs> I don't want to volunteer anyone or suggest this and people not like it, but if we really want to juice, we should do like a 48-hour in the studio. See Sleep who, stream. See who, see who stays the longest or who's willing to. Wow. That would, I mean, that could studio. be fun. It sounds insane. All weekend. But wait. So what's the objective? Just to see who stays up longer? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I will not be that. there. It would have just to be like out. a personal... Like, <laughs> I'll leave right now. It sounds Bye, fun, but... It sounds well, like well. a Mr. Beast video. Yeah. I'd stay in the office forever if... <laughs> I was gonna say, it's gonna be me and Love. Like, we were in the casino, me and Love were the last two there. When we went to Vegas. <laughs> um, so, hold on, let's see this transition. No, this is in New Hampshire, we do this. The, like, at the... So yeah, it auto played. Okay, so it just auto played. Well, right. I mean, two. Oh, uh, okay, so I inevitably that was gonna happen. Exactly. Now, right. Like, exactly. Huh. Like, again, is this like twenty people watching this, mm, or, or really maybe we no. have like thousands of people? Thousands. It's thousands. Yeah, it's thousands. Really? How I mean, many look views at the, does this video have? It oh, only has seventy three likes. <laughs> no, this is just a random. Oh, this is a vod. Video. Oh, okay, got yeah. it. Yeah, I'm got sure it. that. It had a lot of, of viewers, I, but like I guess on, on this on this instance, it's a it's a an, a mistake. It auto played, but still, people if people weren't so comfortable with the idea of stealing people's content and just playing it without any reaction, then he would have disabled auto play a long time ago, and made sure that this would never happen. Right. Minus the uh, playing of other people's content, I could see how sleep streams could be relaxing. For people there you go like it, it, it makes you feel like you know like hey, oh if you want to start winding down you know you're not alone there you go we're winding down together yeah wonderful <laughs> thank you Zach having said that don't put some shit on the screen just put the camera on you the thing is we put we put so much effort into the show like I don't want to put the show behind a paywall I want everyone to be able to watch it I think that's the really cool thing about what we do is that you don't need to pay anyone. You just need internet. It's fucking awesome. Fucking awesome, dude. What other? Yeah, no, I, I do like that we do that. I mean, uh, most podcasts that I have listened to over the years have either a premium subscription thing required or the, do a hybrid thing, um, like you were describing, where either the last hour of the show is behind a paywall or every other episode is free. You know what I mean? One free, one paid episode. I get it. They need to make and, money. Um, <laughs> but I think but, it is cool that we do it because I think of it, you know, especially now that we do them all live and we're live almost every day of the week. It, it reminds me when I'm dating myself here, but it reminds me of, um, you know, like talk radio. That's what I, How, that's it. Which, that's yeah, I, I mean, like, do. obviously you've referenced Howard as like kind of an inspiration for this show that many times. But yeah, I mean, I used to listen to talk radio when I worked as a driver all the time. You just put it on all day and it's there for you. Yeah. That's what I wanted to do. And it's awesome that we can do it. I guess radio is the last time you could like just turn something on for free and listen. Mm -hmm. I put Howard on uh, every morning when I wake up. First there time. There you go. For the people, you guys. Howard's well, behind dude, a paywall. I was say Howard's thirty dollars yeah. a month. I yeah. just, I just oh wait, she, mine. well no, he used to be on the radio. He used to be, he used to be trash yeah. when yeah. we were growing up. Yeah. yeah. He used to be. You just turn on the radio and you got. Howard I mean, you do time. have you do have the Tuesday member stream, so it's not like you don't do that at all. Well, yeah, but it, I don't even think that gained us any members. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you could put on an. It's just a might silly. Lose it. It's, it might lose us members. Yeah, exactly. I Every time sure. it's just you arguing with them. So, if someone says, "See you next week," <laughs> they just Ethan chewing for an hour. Yeah, chewing for an hour and arguing. There's not. There's and there's, doxing. Yeah. And doxing yourself. The thing is, it's not the main product. It's like some silly weird vortex. Right. If if it were an episode with all of us here in the yeah. studio, not pre it's it would, not premium content. I'll yeah. put it that way. <laughs> Shout out to all the viewers. Less than premium. <laughs> yeah. Sub premium. Being which you gotta let me fix your shit before the show tomorrow. What was wrong with it? Didn't we fix it? 
we got it working well enough, but I need Great, let's do it. We'll we'll we'll, we'll work on it tomorrow before okay. ten minutes before I go live. No problem. <laughs> See, that's what I that's what happened last week. No, we'll we'll figure it out. Well last week there was we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm gonna catch you early, nice and early. All right, sounds good. Uh, sounds but, good. But you know it's like just play twenty five minutes of my podcast. I mean it's not a big deal, right? I don't actually care at all, but the culture of it is is Yeah, it's a little presumptive. I liked the guy's suggestion, obviously that would require some engineering on the platform's part, but I think I think he's right. I mean, there there is when you talk about like the product, there's like there's the video and people have a desire to watch that video. And then there is a subset of people that just have a desire to watch their favorite personalities watching stuff. Which, I get like, it. That is a different thing. I but get like, there's it. gotta be some middle ground here where everybody can win. Just because people want it doesn't mean that it's a good idea. Like, you could say that about like, oh yeah, I just want to watch brand new movies out, and I like to watch it with my buddy who streams. It's like the only difference is that movies ha are more funded, mm -hmm. and have uh, lawyers. That's the only difference. Right, right. That they can life. actually enforce it, 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 their uh, like IP. For, somehow they all understand I can't watch a brand new vid movie with, with my stream. But when it comes to stealing podcasts and videos on YouTube, they don't give a single fuck. It is the, there's no measurable difference between. I mean, functionally, it's pretty much the same, you're right? It, it is identical. Twitch has the function right now where you can do watch parties with Prime, where if you could, like, and when you do that, it like your viewers if they have prime are watching just the movie and then the your box your stream is separated completely and they could do something like that i feel like where if you're going to watch someone else's content they'll get the views right it pulls it up on yeah. everybody else's browser right. as well like so they, you can right. like remote control it kind of like what i was saying before it's like if we were to watch a video right now we have 56 or 46k people watching it would open the video for all of them individually and that person would get 46,000 views. Roll it. There's a Chrome plugin. That you're actually that. bringing the views to somebody and that seems That's mutually great. beneficial, right? Although you could still technically be sued, but I think it'd be a lot less likely if they were benefiting. Right. There's because ultimately Chrome. you're still making, yeah. you're still using their unlicensed content. I suppose. You know. But, um... Roll it. I... <laughs> right. That is, that is interesting. Because I wonder, would it be supplanting the original if they're all watching there? I mean, like, it's kind of a way, it's a w interesting... Because your only content is just re the reaction. So it should be fine, right? Yeah, because, like, on, like... Well, no, it'd just be on your stream, though. You'd be showing it to your... No, your stream would be full cam. Oh, nice. well, then there's no problem. Yes, yeah, yeah. So yeah and with the watch parties, it separates it, so the VOD won't have any of that in there. And the video itself, like if a, a watch party started and the creator like rewinds or pauses it, it doesn't do that for the audience. Like it, 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 it's not synced up in that way. They're not seeing your screen. You have to, and you have to mute the audio coming out. So does anyone use that feature? It's not, it's not that popular now. Yeah. It's very, well, it and why would they? Clunky and like, and you, you have to go, it's for prime video, right? Which like I get mm -hmm. is also Amazon, but you're leaving Twitch to do this. Well, I feel like if it was all on one platform, it was YouTube had the ability to open up. I mean, YouTube already on browser has the ability to do picture in picture with like, you know, it makes like the little mini window or whatever. Like if you could have your channel go small and then it opens it up, opens up another video for everybody. Mm -hmm. So there is already. A I don't to do think that. streamers will plugin. use it. And here's why. Because they'll make a lot less money and get a lot less attention and they can't do YouTube highlights. I mean, it proves just how, how, you know, exploitative the current system is. Nobody's using that and they wouldn't. So I'm hearing, um, just to exonerate Ludwig a little bit in this situation that it, it does appear to be a mistake. I, uh, this is from one of our mods. Mods! I got the context for Ludwig thing in the specific stream. Apparently for that specific stream, it wasn't audience submitted. His team, meant to only play all episodes of his pod and for some reason it messed up and auto played your pod at one point but they got it fixed and set back to auto playing all the episodes of his pod so the youtube algorithm somehow 
sent them the I mean, I love that it, that it recommended. I'll take the recommended. Sure, I yeah. I love that shit, boy. So, yeah, it sounds like it was not uh, malicious. Well, that being said, I do still, I'm going to need a licensing fee. Watching my <laughs> algorithms get crushed. Chat is mentioning Will Neff's watch parties, uh, which I recently found where he does it properly where it's just, oh he does yeah he he Good like for him he doesn't show anything when he's watching a movie he doesn't play anything it's just his reaction and you and he has the time responsibility code. to get yeah. the, get the movie like yourself. what we do with the boxing events right right, right. Mm -hmm. okay oh and no joe rogan does that when he watches the ufc stuff so yeah i mean that's a way to do it but obviously it's going to exclude a lot of people in ludwig are we, are we saying his name wrong people are saying a ludwig or is that a meme it's Ludwig. Okay, that's what I thought. Or did someone say Ludwig? Probably. Ludwig. Anyway, he's almost done with this video. I don't know. It, hey, we. It's a complicated topic that's certainly not going to be solved by me right here and now. But to answer your question, no, I, I don't want people to stream or re-upload yeah, yeah. the entirety of my videos. <laughs> there you go. See? The man finally spoke. We couldn't have possibly predicted his stance on people <laughs> right. stealing his content and re-uploading it. No one could have ever known. There it is. So shout out so to- So I never saw his um, JFK video. Who did it? Was the conclusion. Bro, you want to know who did it? Everyone. Yo. Here, I'll show you. It's like a whole ass feeding frenzy. Hmm. Just let me. Oh wait, no, this is a separate one. Hold on. Good channel. His sh his videos are crazy. Y'all should check him out. Lamino, if you're not familiar. So here's the Kennedy assassination. It's an hour and a half. 7.5 million. And this, wow. this is like crazily produced. Really good. And so here's what everyone did. They take the exact title. And now let's see. Let's see who comes up. This was my ass. Uh, Our boy. Excuse me. He's right there, baby. Let's go. Um. You just passed one. The other one that he had in the thing. I see that that one's only forty minutes though, so I'm assuming that one actually is probably fair use. This right? is I. I this think that's why I skipped edited. it. It's vlogging through history. I think this guy's a fair use guy. Okay. But here, let's type the Kennedy assassination. You didn't answer my question Twitch. though. Who killed Kennedy? Moz. <laughs> it seems like it was not a mystery. It seems like it's pretty much exactly as it was recounted. It sounds like a bullshit video then. Sounds boring. <laughs> XQC, Hassan. He's our boy. Now, okay, this, this like is one of the, the length of the video. <laughs> this is one of the channels who who does it without his permission uh, that he doesn't benefit from pull out that being said he should make a better effort to m remove this cuz ultimately it is his content even though he's not benefiting from it Hassan is like There's, upset these channels are fucked man there's probably just too many well that's true but Bro, we DMCA we DMCA to like one time and then they never did it again cuz they're so scared mm. That's right. Wait, go to oldest. Remember when we did that on that one channel? It was like the weird, like kids' cartoons and stuff. Look at this channel, though. They're making them look bad too, because they're they're just doing like XQC style, full stream rips. Like, you know. Can you can you click on oldest? I'm yeah. Just curious if it has. Oh no! I think okay. They yeah. Or maybe they purged it. I don't know. They could have purged it. Yeah, yeah. They probably did. Once we pointed it out. So. Okay. One of the Hassan Fuck your mom. schemers. How about that? Um, Destiny. Uh, uh, I don't know why it's showing more Hassan. Here's me. There's us. Let's react to that. Critical. <laughs> Watched it. Again, I th it seems like a lot of people are just ripping the streamer's content. SQC seems like the only one psycho, uh, a biggest piece of shit enough to actually just upload it full sale on his own channel. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> you know, I've always said that I'm not, I'm against, I would never sue another creator, but this one's getting pretty close to being justifiable here. All right, I think it's totally justifiable. I think someone should sue XQC. I mean, 
I think they should do it, man. I'm I'm down with that. I support that. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm thinking about suing them too. Uh, let's see. More L's from Alpha Douche? No, we don't do that one. Let's do the prankster who got shot. This is awesome. Mm. So, uh, this took place in a mall. I wish I could show you the whole video, but... Shoot the son of a bitch! It's not, it's not even, like, graphic. You don't see anything. You just... Well, you, you do see the, the, the gun. You see the gun. Which I but think would no be enough for YouTube or... to be like... Eh, eh, eh. Omi took it like a champ, though. Well, you... He, I don't, he just fell off frame. I didn't even see what happened. I mean, he grunted and fell, collapsed to the ground. Yeah, he took it like a champ, though. <laughs> I don't know. I don't Who know took it agree. more like a champ better, me or him? Like a champ. Obviously you. I'm a champ. I think JFK oh, took yeah, it the best. Oh yeah, you're braver. <laughs> JFK took it like a champ? Yeah. He sure did, man. Uh, this is his channel. The dude's a dumbass. Yeah. I mean, Oh, and he uploaded a video. I got shot. Wait, this happened two months ago. Yeah, they just made the verdict. This time we're hearing exactly how a I social media shot. prank led to a shooting inside Dulles Town. Yo, this is epic, bro. I got shot. Subscribe for more pranks. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get your shots? <laughs> uh, so here's the edit we made. Yeah, this guy Alan Cole. He's no, no. The guy who shot him is 31. He looks way older. Yeah, he's 31. Looked like 50. So he shot 21 year old YouTuber who runs Classified Goons channel. This is from April, by the way. When <laughs> Classified shot. Goons. Um, Goons channel has a bunch of cringe pranks such as pretending to vomit on Uber drivers Goons. and following unsuspected customers in department stores. So as you can imagine, the worst of the worst in terms of just being a menace, a giant piece of shit. Mm -hmm. We've seen them all a thousand times. Yeah. So here he is in a mall. I have, I don't even know what he's trying to do, but you can. He's being really obnoxious. Like I mean, that's a pretty clear sign. Not interested. To, yeah. to, to quit. It's, uh, he's using Google Translator to say, uh, hey dipshit, quit thinking about my twinkle. What? Yeah. That's not even like remotely funny. And he just keeps replaying it. And so the guy's like, yo, what's happening? Uh, you know. Clearly this dude is probably not all there. Since he's walking around a mall with a loaded gun. And he's shoots this guy at the drop of a dime. Yeah. So, so where we cut it, basically this is what happens. He's got, he just goes psh, like that. It's so fast. Yeah, it happens in like a so split seamless. second. Psh, he just shoots him once and then continues walking. And the prankster just whimpers and that's basically it. Um, at the food court, no less, man. Don't let me die in the food court. Shoot the yeah, son the of guy a bitch. was a uh, delivery driver. He was picking up food. Man, that uh, guy. Oh, man was just trying to do He's on the job. clock! He's probably getting fucked with all day, those guys. Yeah. yeah. So, let's see. Uh, if we're at uh, the food court. Cook can be seen following Coley around the mall uh, while thrusting his phone in his face. As it said the phrase that A.B. did. Uh, explain. Coley, who has a license to carry a concealed weapon, was found not guilty of aggravated malicious wounding in the shooting after he said he was acting in self-defense. This is very interesting. I'm on one hand, I totally understand and think it's dope that that dude got shot. <laughs> and I feel like the majority of people are like, that I'm so glad that one of these pranksters got shot. That is so but on the other hand, if you watch the video, it seems like an overreaction. That motherfucker shot way too fast. Yeah. That mm -hmm. was not his life was not in danger. Yeah. It was almost 20 seconds in total. That, we were that, a bit dramatic. <laughs> so, like, I understand, like, the impulse to cheer that a prankster got shot. Because I'm right there with you. But on the other hand, we I don't think that being an a obnoxious prankster is a death sentence. should be a death sentence. <laughs> right. You know. Yeah, there's a degree of... 
uh, proportionality here. I, I'm afraid I'm I'm amazed that they acquitted him of of the shooting. I mean, what the fuck? I if mean, you, if you watch it, there was it was just what state it was this in? This was in uh, Virginia, I believe. Virginia. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Our food court a little different down here in Virginia. What? No, it wasn't in Virginia. Oh, was it? Yeah, where'd you get that? Yeah, it's, it's in Virginia, south of... It's Sterling, there. Virginia. Oh. A food court in Sterling, Virginia. Uh, he was found guilty on a lesser charge of shooting into an occupied dwelling, but a judge will hear arguments to set aside this conviction at a hearing next month after his lawyer appealed. The jury was divided on whether Coley had acted in self-defense. But Wait, after that's okay. I apologize. The reason I was so confused by that, there were two incidents like this. Another YouTuber got shot in te in Texas. Was it the it was it the kid that was doing like a penny prank? I remember some kid got killed by a gang member who was YouTube doing YouTube prankster. Prank. No, that's the Virginia one. I'm so confused. Okay, but it was I, I apologize. Not I was wrong. It was in Virginia. We're down here in Virginia. You don't want to mess with no one in the food court. I'll tell you, wait, I mean, you ain't never know who's strapped. And we take our noodles very seriously. Don't be coming at me when I'm eating that Mr. Corn Dog, you understand? That's right. Mm hmm. Um, the jury was divided on whether Coley acted in self-defense, but after additional deliberation, they reached a verdict. Let's go. <laughs> Somebody couldn't in that jury been, room convinced them. Couldn't have been cooked argued. up better than by, by the man himself. Couldn't be. My great client here shot somebody. <laughs> I feel like his YouTube channel was the best defense um, because his YouTube channel, like, there's just going through his videos, there are so many videos where he's, like, harassing people to the point where it's like, I'm surprised he was shot earlier. They're like, look at how annoying this guy is. Yeah. Well, I, like, I understand his position, too, in that he clearly was like, get away from me. He was physical with him. Get out of my face. Yeah. And then he continues to follow him with his phone in his face. But, you know, in Virginia, uh, a wrong look, get you a self-defense. I'll tell you what, brother. <laughs> we shoot first and figure out the self-defense second. <laughs> I don't know anything about Virginia. Do us true. <laughs> I'll give that disclaimer. I don't know what the people there are like. I don't know what they eat. I don't know how many of them have guns. And I don't know what they sound like. Probably they sound like me. But I do know Virginia is a good old state. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Man, you ain't no breed. That's right, boy. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. That's West Virginia. I'm about to give this fool a country road to walk on home to heaven. Thank you. West Virginia. <laughs> West Virginia. Oh, Aunt Oliver Anthony is Virginian, so that tells me all I need to know. <laughs> we don't like fudge rounds here in Virginia. That's such an insane line. <laughs> nah, that's all. <laughs> so, like, that, those lyrics are not only insane, but very bad. Yeah, no, it's bad. You know, it, it's just the bar is so low for conservative losers. Like, you don't, the song is not that good. I mean, it's, he's good, he's okay, but I'm pretty sure, you know, the lyrics could use some work. Yo, don't tell me this is real, Cam. What the fuck? Yeah, this is actually Dallas. <laughs> Yo. What does that mean? Uh, uh, it's just a pank prank, bro. <laughs> Subway on Elm Street, November 2nd. Uh, November 22nd, 1963. Subway. Yeah. Mm. I haven't had Subway in a minute, man. <laughs> Did I get Subway? Is it even food? I don't even know anymore. The bread is like non-existent. It's like literally sawdust. Jersey Mike's is the uh, superior sandwich. 
I kind of like how they fuck with Subway though. Like you can get so much veggies on it. Yeah, like Jersey Mike's they operate in in uh in shadow. And you don't see. It's in a box. You don't see shadow. how they make them. That's so true. Subway, it's right there for mm. you. You like, like Subway? That. Yeah. Wait, what are, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Wait, 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 hold on. What do you mean they operate inside a box? What does that mean? Uh -huh. They operate in shadow. They're a shadow organization. Yeah. Shadow dwellers. The you don't get to tell them. You don't be like a little more lettuce. Yeah, you can. No. Let me see what you the kind of You don't see how the like. sausage gets made at Jersey Mike's. And Let that's, me see. That's a problem. This is the biggest bullshit I've ever Let me look. Let me look. Jersey Mike's ordering counter. Let me see what this looks like. What the f What? <laughs> okay, chill out. Take it easy. <laughs> This is Jersey Mike's? Oh, it's the same thing. It's just what like the, Subway. Exactly. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought Jersey Mike's had like a restaurant restaurant. I don't like, know. With I don't tables know. in a back. That's just a picture. Bro, <laughs> I don't know. New conspiracy. Like theory. what's in here? It's not. They, Actually, they, you know what? I take it back. I don't think that you can. I think they're a shadow org. Yeah. <laughs> that, New conspiracy theory unlocked. That done there, right there is just a picture. I haven't seen that place in my life. That's right. We don't believe nothing we can't see with our own two eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Check Lena, out Jersey Mike's in Hoboken, New Jersey. Lena used to work at a subway for years, and uh, they offered halal meat, but they weren't supposed to. So whenever the like subway reps came in, she had to hide the meat. What? They, hide. Wait, 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 wait. They, what? They were like, do not serve halal meat. Yeah, because it wasn't actually like their product. This was just like the owner because oh, they Dearborn. snuck it in. Yeah, yeah. Because he's a franchisee. He wants to sell sandwiches. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting mm -hmm. for the people. Good man. Uh, God bless him, yeah. man. Fuck Subway. God bless the food. Oh, that's awesome. So he <laughs> snuck his halal meats in. Yeah. Was it like a secret word? I don't know. I wish he was here, but there was a lot of interesting stuff going on there. They had like a bunch of stuff in the basement too that they were like. Selling like clothes and stuff, randomly. <laughs> yeah, it was an interesting place. Sweet, it's a one stop shop. That is interesting. I need new, new shoes. I'm gonna stop by Subway on the way home. Absolutely. Um, okay, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, what were we talking about? This dude, Do you think got Jersey off. Mike's is a conspiracy thing? <laughs> I think that they have less emphasis on customization. You're saying you don't like Jersey Mike's? I, I don't like it as much as Subway. I find it's too meaty. I they, agree. They put like way too I much agree. Like meat. I fucking love Subway. I'm and I like it. the other stuff. There needs to be a beautiful balance. It's like an orphan. Bro, the it's meat like, at mm -hmm. Subway is not meat. So? Who said it's that? It's not meat. Who said not that? Not meat. I don't think well, that that's no, hold true. On. Hold on, hold on. The meat is not meat? It's not meat. You want to expand on that? <laughs> you want to expand? I just heard it's not. It's, it's not, just it's not, not turkey. The, the tuna is not tuna. The tuna one that was a scandal, but the meat is meat. Okay. That was a scandal. It was the crab one, wasn't it? the seafood one? That used to be my favorite. I think too. it was the tuna. Look, I enjoy Subway. I'm just saying Jersey Mike's is superior. Since when do we care what kind of? I just eat it. It's yummy. Fuck yeah. okay. it. I don't care. It's fast food. Yeah. We're not eating it for. So I don't care what I'm you eating. Know what I mean, fuck. Come on, now. You know what I'm saying? Plastic. Let's see tree. what the chat thinks. So anyway, he got off. Uh, Crosby argued that the facts did not support a self-defense claim as Cook's action was seen as bizarre but not life-threatening. Cole did not uh, reasonably fear imminent bodily harm. To prove ag aggravated malicious wounding and malicious discharge of a firearm, the jury needed to find that Coley acted with malice, which would not apply if he was responding to a, provo a provocation of reasonably aroused fear or anger. Okay. So by that metric, he's he's definitely not guilty. I don't think you could prove that he shot him with malice. He was definitely provoked. Free my boy. Free Coley. Free my boy. Oh, wait. What, so was Subway acquitted? Look at what AB just sent. Yo, what? Lawsuit filed by a woman claiming Subway's tuna isn't... No, I thought it was like an analysis. Oh, this woman... Okay, she filed a lawsuit based on this analysis, I think. Tuna Saga started in 2021 after a lawsuit prompted Shane to defend itself. Okay, hold on. Let's keep going down. That's it. Oh. <laughs> you want a closer look at this sandwich? That looks disgusting. 
Here, let me let me just zoom like in. one, let two hurdles of corn. Okay, slay. I am. Oh, she looks good today. Cute. Slay. I love Put her makeup. Is that a smoky morning? eye? Yes, it looks like it is. <laughs> Maybe some <laughs> metallic shimmer on there. What is happening here? Is it possible that the blood uh, circulation got <laughs> shut off the half her brain? I've fallen. Yes. And I can't get up. Okay. Okay. <sighs> In separate news, here's another prankster. In concern. Terrorizing Max people. She and her sister were left traumatized by one of his pranks at the Target in Sterling early last month. She describes them more as harassment. We were approached by a man who was wearing a security shirt. He came up to my sister and I and stated that there was a known stalker in the Target who he noticed had been following us. He said he's gothic, he is wearing <laughs> dark eyeliner, dark lipstick. We look over and we see the gothic gentleman standing there staring the at us. She gentleman. says that security man helped walk them to the checkout line. That's such a fucking awesome prank. Yo, there's like a murder. He's like a convicted murderer rapist. I've seen him in the news. That's him. He's following you. <laughs> He's been following yeah, you so, all day. So this is the same kid. And he was doing this prank just a few oh, weeks. Oh, same kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was doing this a few weeks before he got shot. So this kid was going to get shot. It was just a matter yeah, of time. Yeah. And uh, he said... In the original report I saw, he said, what's next for the YouTube prankster? I'm going to get out there and keep doing my thing. Yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, what's interesting about him is, uh, not to talk about his sub count, but he has 57K subs. Like, usually when these guys are putting themselves in harm's way, I feel like they're Bradbury numbers, you know, like in the millions. Mm -hmm. But he's No, nah, but you got you to gotta grind at that low level, man. You got to prove that you're different. That well, you're willing to right. do what others well, do. Yeah, you gotta, Getting shot could be his big break. Well, maybe. He, it might be. He got shot a while ago. Actually. It was April. <laughs> you're right. It didn't pan out. And that's devastating. It might actually be his big break. This could be his big break. Let's yeah. give him a plug. What's his name? This could be his big bang. <laughs> his name is uh, Classified Goons. Oh, right. The Goon Squad. <laughs> so-called stalker kept following them. The next day, she reported what happened to Target in the Loudoun County Sheriff's Office. She claims it was Tanner Cook posing as Nice fucking high-def photo y'all got of him, man. <laughs> yeah, I get drunk. Stunning. Uh, high-def. Yo, I know him. If you see this man, run. <laughs> I fucking know this guy. Oh, shit. As the security. You guys are... I'm not looking at and wearing the same fake security shirt seen in his recording. That's for sure illegal, right? To go in a store and, like, impersonate security? Probably not. Um, Gotta be. I doubt it. I don't know. I don't know. It seems a little sus. Inside other targets. Her experience was never posted on the channel. The intention, in my opinion, is he's, he's in trying to instill fear. And it worked. Alan Coley is accused of critically shooting Cook while he was That's playing boy, another prank. That's our boy! Free Coley! Free my boy. Let this man out, dude. He did nothing wrong. Let's go. Uh, quick Google search says it is illegal. Yeah. Generally illegal to impersonate a security yeah. guard. Yeah, I'm seeing that too. That seems like super... sussy. Because it's a licensed position. And the penalty? Is Death. being shot. <laughs> Death. Yep. <laughs> but oh, well, to be fair, in America today, the penalty for any crime is yeah, pretty much death. Absolutely, as long as the the right police show up. Hell for you. yeah. It's town center. The Loudoun County Commonwealth Attorney's Office says it's why is he kind of serving in that mugshot? Into... You like it? Is he one of He's those smizing for real? Like Tyra would really oh, like shit. that. Oh shit! Blue steel. He's <laughs> smiling with his eyes. What do they call it? There's like a whole subreddit for like jailhouse cuties or hotties or something. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> this looks like John Connor in the reality where he never, Judgment Day never happened. There's a real Mugshots Twitter account that posts a lot of like <laughs> quote unquote hot mugshots. Hold on. This looks kind of good actually. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that looks delicious. I didn't... Oh wow. I'm hungry now. <laughs> It took me a couple that seconds to see what good. was different with that. That bread looks good, dude. Hold on, this looks kind of good, fresh. actually. <laughs> Eat fresh, dude. Real tuna, too. Real tuna, oh, wow. real bread. Not sawdust. Lettuce that. looks nice and crispy. It's good. Prank at Dulles Town Center. Uh, free Coley, man. 
Let him out. This is him uh, and his mom finding out, uh, talking about the verdict right after. You know what I say? Not only let him out, let's put him in charge of mall security. <laughs> <laughs> let's give him more guns. Yeah. And more authority. He'll stop those uh, mass <laughs> lootings of uh, department shorts. Anyone... I'll tell you what, ain't no one stealing Snickers from this under this watch. <laughs> so this is the kid's mom. Him and his mom, yeah. Mom, you failed. You're failed. <laughs> oh my God, At Olivia. Day, <laughs> you know, we respect what the jury says. Um, and my family and I are just grateful <laughs> and thankful that I have my son here. Oh, that's... And oh, nothing else matters wait, right that's now. A grac- that's a gracious response, actually, she had. Something wrong with your screen. Oh. Mods. Oh, I know what I know what's wrong. I didn't Dan. pull it up. I'm just watching it on my fucking laptop. That'll do it. That'll do it. Dan. Okay. Dan. Mods! Dan. <laughs> I am highly concerned, Mods. Dan. Dan. <laughs> okay, so here's his mom, who actually was very um classy here's about it. Here's what they have to say. At the end of the day, you know, we respect what the jury says. Um, Mom, and my family and I are just grateful and thankful that I have my son here and nothing else matters right now And that's that's it. I want to thank the prosecutors the Commonwealth prosecutors uh, Miss Jones and uh, um, Eden Holmes they did an outstanding job presenting this case and we couldn't have had it any better and regardless of the outcome You know the jury's the ju- bro. You are such an attention whore bitch. Yeah. He's gonna oh. come here and try to make a scene Yeah, oh just wait Jury, just wait where was he shot? In his liver and stomach. Yeah. What? Got Why did he walk that off like nothing? In the liver? Zach was right. Was right about what? Took it like a fucking like G, a jam, dude. He did. No, God just said I don't want him. <laughs> <laughs> I Heaven ain't ready for these pranks. Yeah. We totally respect how our law plays out, and this was the outcome today, and we respect that. Yeah, Tanner. Bro, you are so yeah. not funny. Let's go. Just real quick, um, just, uh, Tanner, you said you wanted to... I love your this. To the people who he's walking away like he's about your in a big scandal. Himself. It's one reporter. Um... I don't know. I guess I'll just have to keep watching. Yo! You'll continue to make videos? Yeah, probably. We'll see, you know? How disappointed are you about this? So I really don't care. Today? I mean, it is what it is. It's God's plan at the end of the day, so... Man, I don't, see, there's proof that God doesn't exist again. <laughs> God's plan is for me to get murdered. <laughs> to get shot in the liver. Or, or it's God's break. plan. The, the earth is probably better off without me, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're reading it wrong. He sees. He doesn't see it that way. Man. God saved God saved so that him. he can prank more. I see. <laughs> he did say. That was really dramatic. Yeah. It looks like he's like lost faith in God. <laughs> <laughs> Even the reporter is thinking about it. My man knows how to turn it on. Wow, that was some anchorman dude. shit. <laughs> he did say, despite all of this, he will plan to, he still plans to create more videos for his YouTube channel. Oh, there is another hearing, though, for the guilty verdict. His defense for Coley uh, is wanting this to be set aside since the self defense claims uh, really apply. My man. I think him and I think him and Coley should collab on something. That'd be a good way to bear, squash the beef, YouTube style. <laughs> you know. Shoot the son of a bitch. They, you know, it'd be funny if they collabed and f- and did a sec. He pranked him again, and they fake that he shoots him again, <laughs> but they fake it. That'd be good. <laughs> They're definitely gonna do that. I feel like we got to get Coley in on that, man. Oh no, it happened again. <laughs> Wait, it's I the same the guy. Thumbnail. Not again. <laughs> I would love if him and Jimmy just ran into each other randomly and just sees what, what comes out of that. <sighs> Jimmy shoots him. So this is his channel. <laughs> he just pulls out a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's arms, man. Um, here's his channel. I'm kind of curious. Let's see. I got shot. I love he's so stoked about it. I got shot. Like it's a, just a, like another prank. I got shot, Frank. <laughs> I was shot in the liver and stomach. Probably could have got a lot more views with a better thumbnail. That was te- like, is this really also, the video? Like for a video that you got yeah. shot in, you got to clickbait that. No one. If I yeah, if I clicked on a video that was titled "I Got Shot, Frank," <laughs> I would wait. not expect it, a real sure shooting to, to have taken place. Right. No, it's not. I'm about to take you, this camera. 
I would have been like, oh, they're pretending to get shot. Listen, he has a a long way to go. Fake vomiting on Uber driver. That'll be funny. Angry guy charges cameraman. That's funny. Detained at the airport. (laughs) Asking strangers to watch their tone. Sick. Epic. Yeah, if you scroll down a little bit more. Yeah, around here. Yeah, to the left of that. Yeah, these two. Those are great titles. Deliberately filming people's face pranks. Accusing people of stealing pets from PetSmart prank. Awesome. Oh, that seems like he's been uh, getting more more wild with it. Like this... This puking on Uber driver one's pretty wild. This guy's a, a drunk and keep his drunk he, he wants to throw up on me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, he is. No, he is. Oh. No, he is. No, he is. What year is it, bro? <laughs> Olivia's losing it. Man. That's crazy <laughs> that you just did the just do this shit. Yeah. So what yeah, year is it? Oh, yeah. I don't want to bully on a child because he does look young. How old is he? That's been a minute. Uh, uh, he is 21. Okay. Fuck Every you. single one says they're 21. Then let me say that. This is a serious message to all victims of goblin mode. I would like to mm-hmm. issue an apology. Wasn't that funny? No. And it just could only could only serve to get us in trouble. Not 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 enough. That wasn't that funny. I know you guys want that merch, so also I'm only dropping a limited amount. Once they're gone, they're gone. I know you guys been saying, yo, I want the merch, you know, where's it at? So when we hit 50k, dropping that first drop. I know, everyone's like, yo, where's our merch at? Did he just say that? Hold on. So I'm only dropping a limited amount. And once they're gone, they're gone. I know you guys been saying, yo, I want the merge, you know, where's it at? So oh. when we hit 50k, dropping that first drop. So yeah, on that note, let's get to the video. I'll see you guys at the end. Oh, yes. yes. What happened? No. I'm asking you to that. please not record in our building. This is private property. I'm asking you to please not record. Great. Yo, he's doing the not talking prank right now. Yo, Yo that was sick. Oh, she That's got so fucking drank. Yo, also, he's probably, it's not like he didn't actually know what to say and just <laughs> yeah, tried to, to play it off prank. like a prank. Yo, you guys want to go prank minimum wage workers right now? <laughs> <laughs> Sick. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Thank you. So this kid was shot. This and is... uh, we're all rooting shame. for him. We're all rooting for him. <laughs> what a shame. Yeah, it's a total shame. It's a Shoot the son of a bitch. God's plan. <laughs> It's just the God's boyfriend plan. ick. This one could be fun. Okay, this one's fun. These videos make me laugh very hard. There you go. Booby bracelet. Yeah. He's... This is his merch. Yes, sir. What the fuck's a booby bracelet? I'm more concerned with the two thousand dollar care package that's out of stock. What's a booby? Oh, oh, I see. I heart classified boobies because he wrote boobies on it do you remember i think it was like 2010 there were those rubber wristbands that said i heart boobies for breast cancer oh i so just that's a okay. play on that okay very cool except yeah, very, not for a good cause just to be misogyny. yeah not, right this one's not for charity this is to support misogyny yeah yeah, yeah this one is for yeah, misogyny talking about your boobies your boobies oh gross. Sorry, let's let's boobies. do the how long we've been going down you don't like how he says boobies uh, 245. You guys want Little Tay, Boyfriend Ick, or uh, more L's from Alpha Dude? I, I have heard this Boyfriend Ick stuff is funny. Let's go. Oh, Miss Olive over here, vouch for it. All right, Olivia. There's a lot it's riding funny. on It's funny. If it's not funny, we're coming for you. All right. Well, I, I mean, it's funny. Okay. And we can talk about if it's an Ick for you guys. Okay. Girlfriend began recording and uploading TikToks of their boyfriend participating in activities that gave them the ick. Now, from my understanding, the ick, that's a great insult. Yeah, that's like all of a sudden, <laughs> like I've heard it described as like, once you see it, it's done. The relationship's <laughs> over, right? Yeah, or like you started dating someone and then, you know. Is that accurate? Um, If the ick is really see horrible, yeah, partners. sometimes you can't come back from it. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes little icks will culminate together to create one big ick and then we're done. Some are crazy. I read like, 
It's the way he holds the steering wheel. It's very specific, and you need to watch these videos, the and you'll understand. The way he holds the steering yeah, wheel? I got a mad ick, and I had to call it off. It's yeah. just or so I fall, funny. I saw, I saw him trip and fall once, and it gave me the ick. Hmm. Those, are, those are fringe ones, but I've read those. The, these, these icks give me the ick. <laughs> right, <laughs> true. It's reverse racism. <laughs> All right, let's see. New ick unlocked. So we've got him, uh, he's in the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> His little no-show socks. Got the, <laughs> yeah. Those tiny All little right, yeah, socks. That's, that's a, that one makes sense. I mean, it's funny. It's kind I of think gave it's me funny. It I find great. those socks insane. I don't know how I know. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> They're like little that slippers. <laughs> I get a bit of an ick, but it's, I mean, like, it's sweet. It's that not a I terrible get. ick. It's a funny ick. That's kind of either ick serious, right? She's like... This is kind of funny. Right? No, none of these are actually right, okay. serious. Yeah, I got you. All right, riding a bike. Let's let's measure this one. <laughs> <laughs> the way he's riding the bike. I see it. It's the way he's like twisting his hip. <laughs> yeah, the rock. It. He's so so jolly. Wait, I gotta with see it. it again. I think he's just short. Rod him. Calm. No, he's he's working his hips. Dude, if he stops, he's gonna be on his tippy toes. Is the the bike's too big for him? Yeah. I think? I know that for me. Let's get a personal. <laughs> That's pretty funny, honestly. <laughs> but I feel there bad for him. About... He's just hanging out with this girl, trying to go on a bike ride, and here she is recording his beautiful. <laughs> Look at his little feet. His just beautiful flips, around. his hips swaying, mm -hmm. his bike waddling. Having such a good time, it seems like. <laughs> Taking in the sights of the city. But that's what it is. It's an ick. Learning how to ride a horse. This sounds very funny. Hmm. Let's see. I knew Ick's boyfriend trying to ride a horse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, riding a horse is difficult, though. That's pretty funny. You know what I mean? Why is he standing like that? Just sit. I know why he's standing like that. Because it hurts That's his balls. The bowl crusher, dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you, Wait, that, man, that's a hell of an arch, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's funny, but this one seems a little extreme, because, like, Learning to ride a horse is like not something you do every day. Like if that's the first time, you got to give a little grace, right? It's a uh, nick. Yeah. It's still icky. She leaves and never explains why. Like if he just <laughs> always rode the horse like that. No, she's gonna flee the ranch. <laughs> this is funny. Never bro. see him again. <laughs> yeah, this shit's funny. New ick. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I had so much fun putting. That's like a together. cartoon character. He's just too tall. Bro, what is this cartoon shit? <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. That's funny. That is very funny. That's your man's. You better take it all. Good and bad, you take it all. Giant toddler. That is fucking hilarious. I mean, how else- how would he stand that they don't look silly, I wonder? No, you're right, it's just- There's nothing you can do. You just don't- <laughs> you just don't use that thing. You could bend down. Yeah, just you just gotta to quit. I think the movie's straight legs bent back has to be. Mm. You can't bend the leg. There's got to be a way to do this more gracefully. I yeah. think it's also the hand placement too. Is the <laughs> right? <laughs> he, he double fists it. Right, the hand play. <laughs> right, he right, holds right. on for stability. What is he looking at, dude? He must. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. She left and never uh, talked to him again. Mm -hmm. He came back from the the uh, telescope and he never saw his girlfriend again. Walking in water. He just sees her through the thing. <laughs> and then he's just walking away. It's like, wait a minute. On the street. Water, water ick. Everybody watch out. We have a water ick. Careful in the water, man. Is this a lazy river? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Although, let me see that again. That's pretty, that's pretty I mean, funny. yeah, that one seems... But you're just having fun in the lazy river. Yeah, I love this. I, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, whoever was recording that video, they were doing the exact same thing to keep up with him. Mm -hmm. No, they were scissor kicking. I don't know. They were. They have more days. Seemed pretty was, steady. You can scissor kick steadily. I don't know. Not really um, holding up that phone. Okay. Let's see. Trampoline. Uh-oh. 
Careful on the trap lane, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, fuck, how do you even describe what they're doing? It's like... <laughs> <laughs> so silly. Let me watch this again. Yeah, it's so silly. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ran there and back for fun. Very nice. Very good. What? Careful on the trampoline, man. You know what's funny? It's like Fresh and Fit will watch this unironically and being like, You see? Men can't exist in a society without a woman get judging us. We can never open our emotions or show who we really are. Every time I go to a trampoline place, I run just like that. Just like that. That's why I stopped going to trampoline places. I love trampoline places. I don't get Sky to be my true my shit. Sky Zone is my shit. Yo, I used to love <laughs> Dude, did you guys see that clip of Myron recently where he's like, I never had a relationship in high school or college, and that's why, what? I, yeah, I swear to, he was like in one of his rants, and I, I, I see think, that. Oh, I, I did not see that, I have that's not the seen. least shocking. This man never had a relationship through heard. college? I sent it at like 4 a.m., like, well, let me, let me see. I feel like, like if, up, you are down. I feel like if people knew that, well, I'm glad he's just doing a podcast and not killing people. Yeah, well, for now. Because that's like... You know, ultimate gentleman shit. <laughs> uh, let's see. New ick unlocked. Well, the bed's got no space. I mean, not this fair. is <laughs> not fair. That's not fair. Who's at all? sitting like that in the front? It's just silly. What the hell, man? Pull. You know. What are you doing? He's at least listen. He's squished in there, and he's not complaining. Yeah, mm -hmm. we can cut on some slack. You're His right. thighs are fucking huge, so I get that maybe. Like I have those big ass juicy thighs mm. too, mm -mm. and they're big, boy. I'm with you, man. They're just big. Yeah. But that's not his fault either. He's being a he's being a good dude. He's right just now. chilling, dude. Taking it like a champ. Mm hmm. Like JFK. Yeah. Love ya. Disagree with that one. Yeah, this one is way off. Unfair. Way off. That's fucked not up. fair. That actually gives me the opposite of the ick. Yeah. That's the hottest video ever. <laughs> I like him. Yeah. <laughs> Ski lift ick. Mm. Here it is. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> when the way you grabbed it was so funny. <laughs> okay, that one's let me, funny. Let me see that again. What even happened there? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't, th I mean, okay, all right. At least you can take your man skiing. Good luck getting me out of the house. I don't leave the house because I'm afraid I'm gonna get, I'm gonna- You're gonna get ick. me and do an ick. Yep. I stay indoors at all times. That's how hard it is being a man in today's society. <laughs> Yo, find me that clip, baby. I'm looking for it. Wow, that explains a lot. That explains a lot. How, I mean, damn, bro. That's sad. That's sad. And now uh, look at him. He's got a drawer full of plan B. He's such a player. He's killing it. Killing it on YouTube. Oh, wait, no. He got demonetized. Oh, right. He's up. Um, oh, fuck. Killing it on Rumble. Oh, wait. He only got 10,000 views. No bitch would have taken me. I'm kidding. I don't know. <laughs> you see this uh, super chat that Love sent? $50 uh, from Chance Covington? Uh, No. Did you guys see the lawyer who sued Alex Jones is suing Elon Musk and now stay on the majority report? They announced it on the majority report? That's a cool exclusive. So wait, who's the guy? No, I think they just, they're just saying they heard about it on majority report today. So the guy, the lawyer who represented the families, is that what that means? Yeah, here, I just pulled it up. Elon sued for libel by man falsely identified in neo-Nazi brawl. Okay. Here, let me pull it up so you can just... Elon Musk. We're gonna learn about this together right now. Yeah, it was from today. They're falsely accused of having been involved in a brawl between the Proud Boys and a rival extremist group in Oregon is suing Elon Musk, accusing Musk of libel by amplifying social media posts that mistakenly identified the man. This is interesting. So Whoa. just for retweeting or reposting. Musk, a pattern of making reckless false statements with impunity and then his post triggered a wave of harassment and threats. Not wrong. Lawsuit seeks a million dollars in damages, a jury trial in Travis County, Texas, where the lawsuit is filed, where Musk has a residence. The fight broke out in 
on Pride Night in Portland, June. Video of the incident went viral online the next day, according to the lawsuit. The lawsuit said that Ben Brody was first accused of being a member of Rose City Now, were incorrectly identified as a white supremacist group, Patriot Front. It was in June account, this year. Known for ship posting, internet slang for deliberately posting to social media with the intention of provoking or upsetting people. Huh. Go on. I'm trying to see what... Here, Musk... <coughs> yeah, it's right there. Musk responded... Here. Is it still up? It's still up. Okay. Oh, it's like so. Oh, Matt. So they like oh. tried to like dox this guy and they have the wrong person, which. Let me we, see what Matt Walsh said. Remember we, when they called us. Go let's roll up. Remember when they called us conspiracy theorists for saying the feds were planting fake Nazis at rallies? So then they show his face. This is Matt Walsh. Click that. What this is, is not Matt Walsh. Oh, Matt Wallace. Okay. Yeah, who knows what this is. That show the left over. There's a lot of eights in their name, though, I notice. Um. So Ben Brody is a fourth year political science major, blah, blah, blah. After graduation, he plans to work for the government. See, so they, they're saying, hey, this guy is this guy. And look, he says he wants to work for the government. The problem is this is not this person. Who even they're is wrong. the person on the bottom left? This is the person who's suing Elon now. Because oh. Elon showed his picture and his, does this have his name? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. And well, so they misidentified this guy as this guy. This guy has nothing to do with it. That is interesting. I mean, he should be definitely suing Matt Wallace. I doubt he has money, though. But now it is an interesting question. Is So Elon responded with, always remove their masks. Right. So I guess they're just saying because he amplified it's it. It's almost by... like he's encouraging them, being like, let's, let's take the mask off and find out who he is. Right. Could be interpreted that way. After users pointed out that Brody was not the man in the viral video... <laughs> What are you going to see? Nobody erased oh. it. Oh, they're saying he did this after people had already debunked this. And they Thus, they never corrected or removed it. Yeah, I mean, the tweet's still up. So. That's horrible. Yeah, this How many likes did they have? Bad. The, this has almost eighty or 73,000. Wow, that's horrible. And he has like 54,000 here. That's super fucked up. Ay, ay, ay. Good for you, man. Get paid. One million is not enough. You know what I mean? Must personal endorsement of the false accusation go down. Must uh, endorsement of the false accusation against Ben reverberated across the internet, transforming the accusations from anonymous rumors to gospel truth for many individuals, and causing others to use Must endorsement to justify their desire to harass Ben and his family. Man, fuck Elon Musk. How has he not deleted it? How is this still up? <laughs> like this is just an incorrect dox. It's just up with tons of likes on. <laughs> Twitter. He got paid to post it. That's insane. <laughs> he got paid to post it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it was open then, but he got ten thousand dollars for that. Oh, here. So this we was another one where same thing, and I guess this one is deleted, but his reply is still up. Looks like one is in college, who wants to join the government, and another is maybe an Antifa member, but nonetheless. Probably still a false flag situation. Boy, you are a fucking lunatic. I'm an asshole. Um, he really is a psycho. Here's Myron talking about how he he didn't have a girlfriend his whole fucking life. His girlfriend. Bam. I you know what? And I listen. I feel bad for for people that you know have problems like that. And the only reason I'm making fun of you is because you're turned into such a misogynistic freak show, and uh, it explains why you're so damaged and why you hate women. When really, uh, I'm sure it's all your fault. You know this uh, right now. This video has music in it. We need to check it before we watch it. Oh, uh, damn. I really want to watch it. You got no girls. Top comment. <laughs> being, sing being single means being focused. Amen, brother. Facts. We waste so much of our youth chasing cat. Imagine if you just worked on yourself for a few years, then got a cat later. Yeah, man. Co he's coping hard. Yo, I never had a girlfriend in high school, college, or any other time. I'm focused on myself. I mean, that's fine if that's what you want to do it, but um, clearly, clearly it was not by choice. 
Here's a Myron, comment. In Myron's case. Oh, hell no. It's very telling that Myron has never had a serious girlfriend. He still hasn't to this day, by the way, nor has he ever been in love. Pretty sad for a man in his 30s. His views will change dramatically when this happens to him. Yeah, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna if take it us. ever does. <laughs> I mean... He's gonna need like a special, special, Fuck special woman. <laughs> to, to impact any change on him. Yeah. Halo! All right, how long are we going now? Three hours. Hmm, short episode. <laughs> short up today. Nobody does it like us. Three fucking hours. Three hour tour. tour. All right, well, um, let's see here. Wednesday, we'll be back. I'll, for members, I'll be there on Tuesdays. You guys know the drill. Uh, one o'clock. Let me check my calendar just to make sure I don't have anything. I'm pretty sure. That'll work. Yeah, we're good for tomorrow at one. And then anything else we want to talk about coming up later this week? Well, like you said, we're going to theoretically do this members drive on Friday. That'll be a really uh, fun episode. It's yeah. going to be really fun. The uh, details uh, we're going to have to iron out tomorrow. But, we have uh, ideas. There's going to be lots of yeah, games, lots of drinking, lots yeah. of uh, laughter. It'll be a fun app. Yeah, it's going to be a fun blast. App. Short app. It'll be a short app. Um, and what else? What else is going on this week? H3. Uh, H3. Uh, we have some fun guests coming up later this month. We got a few lined up, actually. Go ahead. Uh, Curtis Connor is coming back uh, next week, actually. Oh, that's fun. Let's go. And uh, later this month, uh, Pokimane is going to be joining us. In there the you studio. go. You know what she told me? She said, now that Love's here, I want to come do the show. It's very kind. Very nice. Very excited to meet her. She hasn't <laughs> forgot about you, bro. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, and uh, and we have a couple other fun ones that aren't locked yet, but we're working on, so. That's yeah. happening. Yeah. That's yeah. happening, uh -huh. folks. Little Tay, uh, do you guys really want, does anyone care about Little Tay? I don't know. Mm, no. That's like a big sure one if you're going to do it. Maybe if you guys care, I can do it on Wednesday. I, I don't know. The whole Little Tay thing never really interested me. What's the story? Uh, well, somebody said she was dead. She's not. No, there, there, there are a lot more in development. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Also, she's is very that, impressive. Is that physically. inaccurate? What I just said. Really? Well, that's the beginning of it, but now she's gotten more specific, so more. detailing her abuse. Here's one short video. Let's watch it. So, how old is she now? I thought Sixteen. We were, we were starting, but it's, oh, it's, it's ten, ten minutes. minutes. I just want to watch a second of it, Dan. Where do I even start? Five years ago. I became famous and my abusive absentee father, who had not been in my life for years up till that point, decided to come back into my life to take control over my career and my money. That's why I disappeared. He started a court case. He started a court case. That sounds awful. Yeah, it's really bad. I'm not ready to get into that 10 minute long video. It sounds like a lot. Yeah. That's It'll take time. All righty. Listen, guys. Thanks for being here. Had fun today with you guys. Nice to see you. Beautiful weather. Uh, see members tomorrow. And, um... Normal time, you said, right? One o'clock, yeah. Perfect. Have a great week, guys, and we'll be seeing you uh, tomorrow or the next day, but we're always here. It's the H3 Podcast. No one does it like us. We're live all the fucking time for free, except see you next Tuesday, but that doesn't count.